Ain't, ain't nobody else got no trophy, bro. Nobody else. For almost five years, bro. Because I'm the reigning goddamn beast. I'm the goddamn man over here, bro. Don't you ever insult me. And the reason why you ain't the man, because I came to your platform three or four times on Cross My Radio, and it's recorded, challenging you, and why Jesus chapters are, and why Jesus chapters are, and you have refused to debate me, sir. <laughs> so nothing right, has made you to debate me, and all of your answers over the years has been no, 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 no. I came here and became the champion in six months. And I've only been in, in six months, and you was here for 10 years, bro. Brother, don't you ever let that uh, I'm the man phrase come out your mouth, boy. All right, all right. I own um, you, and I own all of ISUPK, and I own all the men that you are captain of. I own your ass and all those who follow you. Let's go. All right, Chris, you want to say something before you go, bro? All right, Chris ain't here. See? Chris, 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 all right, Chris is gone. Okay, so, um, okay, so, um, y'all right, you sat there, you heard all of this stuff, man. Um, when are you and Black Jesus Minister scheduled for this debate? Will it be, be after you and Domo get it in? No, it's going to be before. It's going to be Sunday. Oh, you and Black Jesus? That's what I thought. No, no, oh. no, no, hold on, y'all, 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 right. hold on, hold on, y'all, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so, that, uh, so you still trying to find somebody for Chris Harris, right? Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, no, yeah, I am worried about that because I, I believe the best should be saved for last. I think that the bottom of the barrel, Chris Harris, should go first. You need to find somebody. If, go, go get Chris a goddamn scrub. Get him a damn scrub. If you can't get no caliber debater, get him a damn scrub. No, nah, I'm not putting him in the ring with no scrub. He's going to okay, get well, Garfield. I, I, I would agree with you. I would I'm going to get him Garfield but, but, but all, and see the people going to have to tell Garfield to come on out. Y'all got to stop always wanting to beat up people that y'all know y'all could beat, man. Exactly. And They're going to the bull opponents. Does. That's exactly what Tazariak does. Okay? Just, yeah. He debate people that he think he can, he know he can, de he can defeat. Now, my point is, is that what? If you can't get no caliber debater, then brother, get somebody, man. Get somebody, man. Because I would rather see Chris Harris debate first before me and y'all ride debate. That's what I. That's the way I would like to see it. Chris Harris debate whoever first, and then me and Elder y'all ride. And then the winner, the winner out of those two debates, go for the championship. Yeah, I wanna. Um, I wanna. I wanna see if I can also get. Um smash up in here too because smashing um um y'all yeah, been going in so you got to set that battle up as well about you know? zion lex uh doing a, a repeat with uh, uh chris harris yeah he um he wanted chris harris he wanted jabari and he wanted shaka so you know that's what, so what we got to get zion lex say did zion lex say he'll do a repeat with chris Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, okay, okay. And so I asked him in order. I asked him in order. Hold on for a minute. Hey, Brother Garfield. Peace and love, Donna. How are you, sir? I'm good. We live, but I want to say this. We live. We got 977 people listening got, to you right I got now. Some, I, got some, I got some news for you that you're going to love right now. Oh, shit. Go ahead. I'll let you go first. First thing, let me, let me say this. Um, I think Chris is a very eloquent speaker. And I think Zion also is. I heard what Zion said earlier. Let me just address Zion in 30 seconds. Go ahead. A lot of people forget Zion was on talk with the Titans and I jumped on and he ran off his own show. I'm the only person to have Zion let's run off a show. The show is still up. <laughs> what? I so never none heard of that one, man. None, none of y'all don't even know that. Oh, the reason man. why... So hold, you up, know hold, why, up, hold up, hold up. You saying Zion did the Chris Harris? He ran off the show when I was oh, when I nah, came on the man. show. We started Stop, to man. Don't do that. Don't make now, it watch, this. watch it. Watch yeah. it. Watch it. Watch it. Let me finish. Let me finish. The reason why I went at Zion because Zion disrespected my master teacher. The reason why I'm in the conscious community is because of Professor James Small. So when he violated James Small, oh, that's when I stepped up and defeated and beat up his information. Now the problem is. The reason why, even when we sat outside, I do I'm remember that, that Garfield. I do remember that's why you did step up. 
Yes, I so watch this that. now. So when I stepped up for my elder, right? This is what happened. Zion debated Shaka Amos, and every slide that Zion showed was misinformation. So if he said that Sumer had rivers, he would put the person's name and a book, and it's not in that person's book. That was the issue. Mm. So I said to, said to Sarnetta, I'm not debating this dude unless we got a fact checker right there to check his sources I because that. I don't trust his sources. So nobody's running from Zion. Now let me get to the other part because Zion, you're going to love this part. <laughs> Zion, you never debated. Hold on. Zion, you never debated Chris Harris. You debated me because Chris Harris was on the phone with me the whole night asking what to say. Let me repeat that for the what? people that's listening. Whoa. Let me repeat that oh, for the man. people Come that's on, listening. Godfrey. You can't be doing that, Godfell. Let me repeat that for the people that's listening. Since y'all want to know the truth. When Zion pulled out that article from the Torah.com, I was the one on the phone telling him to pull another article from the Torah.com that destroyed Zion Lex that night. Zion hasn't recovered yet. So when you debated Chris Harris, you debated Garfield. Just for the record. So I was telling him what to say. So don't play with me. I don't need to debate. Yo, Chris Harris is a baby using Daryl Matthew. He's a baby. Mm. Cut it out, Sarnetta. All right, but don't, hold don't on, hold on. Colors. I ain't going to let you get away like that. All don't, y'all don't, saying is... Let me, fi- let me finish. Oh, let me ahead, finish. Let me ahead. finish. Oh, as a matter of fact, hold on. Let me. You know what? I'm going to go back in two minutes. Let me All go right, back in two ahead, minutes. Go ahead. See, family, I want y'all to hear this real quick. Everybody always saying... Chris Harris is a baby. Chris Harris is not ready. Chris Harris this. But the minute I say, get your ass in the ring with him, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to debate Chris. See, if you really felt and believe, you understand what I'm saying, um, um, y'all rock? You see how they all coming up with all these excuses? And, yeah, I mean. Oh man. We got I Captain mean, back in they, here, but go ahead, go ahead, y'all rock. Fighting, you know, now that they cat fighting, you know, everybody want to tell on everybody. Right, but we and know they all do that. So I right, don't everybody do that. Being, so come on, man. Even that being said, hey, you know, Chris Harris, they all share information. They do that all. The yeah, time. hey, hey, I feel hey, sorry. I, I just called in real quick. So I got you. Hold up, hold up, Captain, for one minute. Oh man, go ahead, go ahead, Captain. Cap, damn, even Captain. Oh man, I lost both calls. All right, go ahead, Captain. Hey, I, I'm gonna be real brief, man. What I hear, this is what I hear, Sonny. This is what we need to make the mission for this year. I hear outside the base coming back, man. Oh yeah. I hear. Oh, yeah. I hear every. Listen, I, we need to be outside. Like we don't do this online shit enough. We don't compare the you in the building. I agree. Bro. Like, like, let me, let me tell you. And I, and if Garfield is on the line, he can attest to it. Doing a debate <clears throat> in front of hundreds of people. It's way more difficult than sitting in the comfort of your living room or in your chair mm-hmm. or anything like that. Like our space, I remember when I did that that debate with Polite, it was all them blackity black niggas in there blowing the shit out of me and I had to turn them around and go out there to tell you the same thing. So I think we should be pushing for a lot of them debates to be in-house, whether it be, I think we should bring it back to New York, bring it back to Harlem. Yeah, so you can use my connection. I can go with you to our home make sure we get the right price. Hell yeah. But we need to start we need to start pushing them the base. And all you little young gunslingers, and I ain't talking about young and age, I'm just talking about young and debate experience. All you young gunslingers, I'm gonna have to come outside to get the respect. This this like in the real arena is in the building. Shinetta, y'all used to tell me um we couldn't debate in the in the arena. Remember we used to be on the streets all the yeah. time. No, but y'all and, learned though. Y'all learned. Captain, no, I was using the, the right. word processor <laughs> as your No, nah, but even that, but let me tell you something. I still, what's funny is, if we're in a battle with a person like like Polite, I still would do the same thing because Polite is, Polite is probably, outside of me, because I taught Polite, his skill set, oh, one of the more man. skilled, I'm going to tell listen, when he debated Ali Muhammad, uh-huh. he used my technique. He didn't use his technique. He used me because Ali Muhammad said some shit like in the first round and Polite did the same thing I did against him. Because Polite said shit in the in his opening round, I went off of the PowerPoint and then used a document because that was better. So it's a skill set you gotta have. But what I'm talking more about is the element of being able to present your information, deliver your information, being heckled, even being a fraud. Like that's a whole different monster. 
And I think this year we need to set up, um, you know, the base like that. Oh, and so shit. I just wanted to call. Oh, yeah, we oh, need to set are up you now. Looking at the, the screen? Are you looking no, at the, look the screen? screen? You better look at that goddamn screen. Well, let me yeah, see the I screen. Think she called your ass out and you ran from her. The you, school you of said thought. A Shout out to you the said school a of thought. Shout out to Neff. You Dali. said a she. You said a woman. Shout out to Neff Dolly in the new school a of woman? thoughts, bro. A woman, brother. You better look at that goddamn screen. You even this says cat. Wait, let me see. Hold up. Let me look. Let me let me let me catch up. Hold on. <laughs> let me catch up. Sorry. Let me see. Yes. Yeah, uh, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you why she calling me out. She calling me out because don't disrespect her. This I'm not. I'm know. just gonna say, listen. I'm not gonna. But there was some post. Um, I think it might have been Unk's page, and I said she didn't really have no knowledge or something like that. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so I understand what she knows. I, I'm nice to the sisters. I'm just they, I would never debate her. I would never debate a woman. Her husband, I can beat her. I could beat the shit out of her husband though. You got to stop not her. from the women, though, ca Captain. That's not good, bro. It's a lose-lose. Nah, that's not no, yes, it brother, is. That's yeah, not cool. That's right. it. Are you that's saying right. they don't have a, um the brain? No, 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 no. No, I ain't saying that. that I, remember, I said, I said it's a, I said it's a lose-lose. Meaning, if I lose to her, then I look bad. But if I win, I also lose because they gonna say, and "Oh, you just beat a woman." You're afraid to get beat by a woman because no, you don't want to look I'm bad. I'm not. No, I'm afraid. Here's what's going to happen. You right? always bring up Where's Smack. It? Even Smack have men no. and women um, right. going in the game. I don't watch him. I don't, I don't watch him. But listen, though. When you, let's say when you go against a woman, that woman is going to take on a manly spirit for baiting a man. And she's going to talk reckless. She's going to talk slick. It comes with the spirit of debating. If I talk, start talking slick and being as a man, I would be. Um, then they're going to ridicule me for that. If I take it easy on her because she's a woman, they're going to ridicule. I just don't, I'm not in the space where I would debate a woman. I'll have conversations. Like, remember when I had yeah, um, the sisters? Yeah. Right. Like, I'll do something like that, but I'm not going to do a debate with a woman ever. You'll never Even see me do that. Even if she's respectful in the ring with you? No, nah, I would because never do Because last it. night, the woman that you had on was not respectful to me. And that's, that's not I, my wife. That's why I do understand you to a certain extent. I right. do but, that, but just for but just for the record, that's not my woman. I'm not accountable for what she said. That right. was not an ICBK. That was not an ICBK sister. And I thought that was all. Yeah. Like I'll yeah, never bring. I'll there. never. I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll never you bring you. Yeah. I'll never bring you back on there again. I didn't like the way that they did that. Like I went and listened to it again. And when I listened to it again, when she disrespected you. All you said was go and be immature first. And then, like, everybody started harping on you. So I want to apologize for even bringing you on there no, like I that. I told because, the people, I said that that wasn't your fault because you stepped away yeah, from the mic. So yeah, I, I said, and mind. when I came back, right, and when I came back, I'm hearing all this noise. And I and I thought that, I didn't know that all that stuff was, was happening. And so I'm saying, like, Sai, you wanted this because I'm like, damn, Sai may have wanted some of the back and forth. But when I listened to it, there was no reason to say, it was bitch made to you, and then you didn't call her a bitch uh, right off the rip. All you told her was if you want to go be ignorant, and then everybody started coming on you. So I wouldn't even want to bring you back on like that. So I apologize for that part, yeah, like good. that. No, I've never brought. Yeah, no, but I, when I bring people on, I want them to be you know feel comfortable. And that was a beautiful ass interview. That information yeah, you yeah. were bringing out yeah, thank you, in the man. beginning. You know, what I mean, all that, a lot of people didn't really know that information. So either I'm gonna do one or two things. I'm gonna either take that audio. And just put up right before the bullshit happened, or we could do. I'm gonna bring you on Cross the Line Radio in person, yeah, and then do another interview because okay. I think that should. I think this stuff should come out, man. So, okay, but I never debated one. But but before I go on, the last thought is y'all need to support um, the debaters. We're gonna come out, including myself, um, and but we wanted to be in person, and that requires in person support. And so we and we don't want to have them in small rooms. We want to have them in large rooms like the Alhambra. Like we used to, but now Sinetta, you got to get the talent that's yeah, going to record. Know, you know that's going to bring the people. You know no, what I mean? So I, I work know, with you on I it. I got women. I know Neftali. She she gonna bust a lot of y'all ass on her shit. A lot of their ass, yes. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I mean, she beat up Jesus so bad, man. Jesus was crying. So everybody bad. beat up. <laughs> listen, everybody beat up Black <laughs> Jesus, man. I told y'all. Yo, he's like it's like him and Iman Bashir is in the same class, Sinetta. Yeah, I will not put Black Jesus in this. <laughs> 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 
No, I would not uh, let you go. Let me go. Pass with Bob Sears. Let me call my name. Let me respond. Oh, no, I'm out. Hey, I'm out. Hey, Sean, I'm out. Hey, Sean, I'm out. 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 I'm don't run when I respond. All right, he left. There. He left. I think. I think. Um. I think left Nally is coming up, and right. I think a lot of people oh. need to um give the sister a chance. You know, I think uh, she's I stepping up. up in her own, and she's smacking up a lot of people, man, brothers and sisters. And so, Black Jesus, you might have to do a rematch. Are you willing to do a rematch with Left Nally, uh, brother? I need you to listen to me very carefully, son. Now, now, you know, I know you're a busy man. Yes. And sometimes you tend to be scatterbrained when you try to recall <laughs> and remember things, bro. Okay. I already know what you're going to say. Don't worry about it. Let no, it no, go, no, no, no. But I'm going to you're not going to sit up here and lie to the people and get away with a goddamn lie. Because you know how stupid people are in the conscious community and how stupid people are in the chat. Now, you know that I won that debate. I got you on video saying that I won that debate. You won. You I won that debate, brother. Me. I was just joking. You won yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, won right, that. right. But, I Tazariak, you. but see, Tazariak is so thirsty and so goddamn dumb, he jumped on that and was laughing and had to run. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, we know that the sister lost that debate. We proved that once and for all by bringing the evidence here to HOK where she did not answer four or, or three three or three out of five or four out of five of my questions, and that she agreed with my premise that if you mix races, that you will mix your race out. And she said that out of her own mouth, and we played that here on HOK. She clearly lost that debate. The only reason why she won that debate is because of Kwana falsely and wrongly made the decision in her favor because she is his debater. So, brothers and sisters, y'all heard it from the mouth of Sarnetta. Don't let Sarnetta play with y'all in regards to y'all, Bishop. I am the goddamn GOAT, the undisputed GOAT. Can't nobody come over here and say that I have not held this title for five years straight. Five years straight, okay? Nobody's taking this title, not even the par. She didn't debate me for no title. She ain't got no damn trophy, all right? Now, brothers and sisters, to those of you, let me address one more rumor as well, real quick. Those of you who said that Black Jesus Mister bought his trophy, you all heard Sarnetta say that this trophy came from him. No, that came from me, y'all. I right. sent that to the brother. Right. Yeah, this that's from me. Sarnetta. You can see my name on it right there. Right. What are you talking about? And right. my logo. All right. But brothers and sisters, the other two trophies I purchased as companion trophies to represent my championship win in 2019 against Brother Polite and 2020 against Brother Apostle. And I'm hold sure on, hold on. Know. You know what? I would like sure. to do a um, I would love to do another Sarnetta TV Awards to give back to those who um and, and see that's the thing that I would like to do to give back to the YouTube community for those who stood up and those who represented to bring this information to the people. I want to get back to that too as well. And um, if we wasn't so goddamn scattered, you know how big that shit would have been right now to this day, every year? That shit would have been big, man. But our people was just crazy with this shit. But I'm going to get back to it, man. I'm going to get back to it. Thank you, Brother Anonymous. I see you in the building. Yeah. I see you throwing something in there. Man, I'm going to let Anonymous get in. Anonymous could get in anytime because the brother do shows with support. Just, uh, just and that's one um, minute, that's Yara man right there. So, if Yara put a good word in for a brother, I know the brother is cool. He's good hey, people. He, hey, hey, he's a better Hebrew than me. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's you, yeah, ain't, that's, ain't nobody out there. Ain't nobody out there toe to toe with that brother. Nobody. I mean, I think I beat him up if nobody. I put him in the hot seat like I did I, you, I, Yara. I think you, 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 never, <laughs> you never beat me up, Come on, Yara. I beat all of y'all guys Come up. On, son, Eddie, you never watch beat this. Me watch up. the chat. Watch the chat. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me prove it to you, Sarnetta. Go ahead. Prove it to me. When I came in on the high seat, uh -huh. look at the views on your high seat when I came on. Ain't nobody out got more views on that show than me on the high seat. Yeah, they wanted to see you get beat up. And it never happened. 
Look at them comments then. Go look at the comments. Family, press one. If any of y'all saw that 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 um when Yara came and got on the hot seat, Yara was acting crazy. Jesus, by the time I was done with you. So I never tell the truth. You told me something like Jesus. Come on, tell me. Tell the truth, Sonetta. You told me that Yara beat you down in that. In no, I ain't never tell you no crazy shit like that. Like Jesus. No, hey, no. Nope. I ain't lying nope. on you, bro. We I'm not lying hey, on you, Sonetta. We. I respectfully. I respectfully. I, res I respectfully dismiss your chat because they all biased. They love you. Nobody want to see Sarnett to get put out the pasture. Nah, brother. They See, this is the smartest chat room all over YouTube. <laughs> Press hey, you one if y'all saw that it. and I bust uh, y'all raw butt. He was acting crazy. Uh, 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 well, you got to uh, be down. Hey, you hey, got to be down, hold bro. On, hold on, hold on. Let me, just one minute. That's all I need is one minute. Brothers and sisters, I bought this crystal trophy. Weighs about five pounds, a powerful trophy to represent my first win. And it says here, 2019 Sarnetta House of Consciousness Debate Champion, Black Jesus Minister, Black Jesus Minister, the Ecclesiastes 3, kick your ass, ass Christian. Christian. Black Jesus Minister versus Polite is the Black Woman God. I did not have enough room to put all that information on this trophy, y'all. <laughs> so that's why I had to build a uh, purchase a companion trophy to specify who I beat and the date and and, the, and all of that. And the second trophy, which is a companion trophy for 2020, says what? 2020 Sarnetta House of Consciousness debate champion, Black Jesus minister, the Ecclesiastes 3 Christian, <laughs> kick your ass Christian, Black Jesus minister versus brother apostle, or the Israelites Ham or sham? That was 2020, brothers and sisters. So shout out to Brother Polite for giving me the opportunity, and shout out to Brother Apostle for also giving me an opportunity in 2020 to maintain my championship in that year. And I still hold the title. Nobody else has got right. the championship title All since right. 2019. All right. Um, I want hey, you to hold on to your seat real quick, Elder Yara. I want to bring in somebody. Peace, brother. What's your name? Let the people know who you are. What's up? This Smash Rock Wellington, his elegance, the Magi. What's up? Peace to the panel. Peace to Sarnetta. What's going on? Uh -oh. peace, 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 peace. All right. Hey, Magi, I want the first question I have for you, Magi. Mm -hmm. Brother, what is, what is it going to take to get you in the ring, brother? Hey, I'm, hey, trying to, I'm trying to put together something real powerful and build a real culture where I can begin to get some. You see that trophy? I want to begin to get some real expensive trophies for y'all brothers. Not, not this no bullshit, some real shit. The way I do my thing, you know, I want to give y'all the best of the best. And so no, what is it going to take to get you in the ring, bro? See, sir, that's what I be saying. We be having bad memory. I mean, really last time anybody in the community tried to deal with some Hebrews, they had to call out the Magi. Now, if... If, and then that came in on trials, we forgot. Elder Yahweh was probably someplace in the crowd at that event. They didn't even call him up on the big stage. They didn't need that information. Actually, I was telling you. The 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 they called me from the West Coast before they was even giving out them trophies. So if really, if we want to go back, it really needs to be a trophy for the Magi that came in on trial for body and all the Hebrews, the best scholars you did that got to the walk to the building. You did do that. Uh, that's a fact. That's facts. And so when we start talking about, well, you're going to have to bring out some big wigs. Not none of these dudes who are trying to crawl up on the stage right now, but when they forces needed them, nobody referred to their information. You see what I'm saying? Now, secondly, I'm just going to keep it real. Uh, my brother Yahweh said some things earlier, and I, I, will, I would love to dialogue with you, my platform or your platform, about I'm in the Mopay. Uh, we could definitely deal with that, but then you make some side comments and make me want to try to check your status real quick, do a quick appraisal. Like looking at them cabinets in the back and all this, we going to get in real quick. You said that I like playing games, right? And you referred to me playing a video game. That's because I'm a successful businessman with, time, with leisure time. All right, I got leisure time. So when you might go watch a football game or if you uh, at to the level to where you go golfing, I might just play a game or something. You understand that? I can show you plenty of businesses. We can do receipts. Are you a property owner, my man? 
Yes. Would you like to get in on my uh, REIM? Uh, no, I don't. Your REIM? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about a REIT? Yeah, I got a real estate investment uh, uh, company. Did you try to say a REIT? You mean a REIT? No, not T. I got you, but you can come and see what I'm talking about. I got you. So you're a property owner? Absolutely. So then you know we get leisure time, my brother, right? I, I work for myself. I've been working for myself yeah. for years. I'm my own boss. So I'm just getting back at your comment. I know you got leisure. You might go play golf. Yes, I do. I do. I play golf. Yeah, there you go. So I might kick back and get on the game. So that's nothing. I just wanted to toss that to the side. Matter of fact, pardon me? What is it going to take to get you in there, bro? In the ring, brother. We got now, Pastor I'm Bennett in the building. Pastor Bennett's scared. Running scared. Dialogue. This Black Jesus minister in Yara right here, so that's what we're promoting. But I definitely have a dialogue with Yara about I'm in the Mope. When can we do that, Fry? Oh, yeah, it's I would up love, to Yara. I would love, That'll I would probably love. be after Domo and Yara debate. Yeah. Uh, Domo and I are supposed to be on February 1st. Come on, Domo, if you can, just to confirm that with Sarnetta. Yeah, um, come on, Domo. Domo. Get that let link. Me, let, me, let, me say, let me say this for Let me say this. I do respect Smash Rockwell. Right, um, how he delivers his information, but I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Mm, damn, damn, the hell out keep of going. him. Keep going. I'm gonna beat the That's hell out of him. Enough said. I can't. I can't. I don't have enough bars for you. Uh, okay, I hear you. So if we're dialoguing strictly, we'll do it on Sign Out of TV. Mm. Uh, so I don't got to arrange yeah. it like no debate. Uh, but what we're going to dialogue is about Proverbs and I'm in the Mope. Is that yeah, what we're going to talk about? I'm in the Mope and Proverbs 20, 20, 22 to 24. Oh, oh. oh, well, they actually got 30 maxims in there, so you should prepare for that dialogue. We, don't, okay, we so won't limit it to those that, that'll be one of our. That'll be one of our points of contention. Do, are you really reading 30 maxims? Is that really <laughs> what it's telling you? Yo, yo, man. My man, Pastor Bennett, is funny, man. Look at what Pastor Bennett said. Laugh out loud. I'm not debating again until I get my knockout of the year award. <laughs> That's it. That's right. Shout hey, out hey, to hey, hey, Bennett, hey, man. That's real. Pastor Ben is a goddamn hey, beast. I'll, I'll put in on that trophy. He, Pastor Ben has been a beast. He almost made polite cry. He almost made a chocolate <laughs> cry. And I ain't never seen nobody ever do that, bro. Uh. Hey, yeah. go, go look at it. It's on Garfield Channel. No, no, um, I got it on my channel too. So that is correct. I saw it. Um, yeah, the, that was um, shameful with polite man. Pastor, yeah, but the Pastor what it is is Pastor Bennett know how to get up under the skins, bro. That's all it is, man. Yeah. He's a master at that shit. There, he know how to get a nigga to run and and get up under their skin. So I give him that. Yeah, I give yeah, Pastor, Pastor that. Bennett. Pastor Bennett for the Grand Master Knockout Trophy. God damn it, he's a Grand Master at knocking out niggas who hate the body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, hey, Smash, are you done? I want to get Garfield back in here. Garfield got something to say. Garfield hey, dropping. Let's smash, um, go. He ain't dropping dimes. He's dropping quarters now. Hey, you now say don't shit. let Smash go yet, Sarnetta. Oh, all right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm in the back. I'm on mute. I'm watching. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, Sorry, you need to send me the link. Oh, the link up there. I'm gonna come back to the link. Is right. let me? Yes, come on and get in here. Let yeah, me get in. Uh, you might want to wait till back. Smash get in. I'll be, no, go ahead. I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. So he coming in, Anonymous. Let me um, let me get Garfield back in here so he could drop his quarters. Ain't no more dimes. It's quarters now for the phone. Uh -oh. see, so, Smash, see, Smash want to reach back to Kimmy on trial and all that, man. Hey, the young hey, girl. I'm going to tell you, careful. brother, you better be careful. Hey, I'm a, Smash, let, let, me, let me tell you something, Sinetta. Let me tell you something, Sinetta. I already know what this is. And okay, it ain't what I'm just think. warning you. And it ain't what he think. You jumping into a fucking uh, frying pan. Uh, hey, he can't, hey, look, if he want to go against a European Bible, I'm going to go against his European TLA Bible because that's all he do is read. All right, out Brother European Garfield, you there? Hey, by the way, you could set up me and Yara on the Equiana debate. We could do that later on, like in two months, um, Yara. No, 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 Garfield. You are not running from Chris Harris, brother. <laughs> bro, I'm not. I told, You're bro, not I running told from you, Chris bro, Harris, bro. Bro, 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 I told you I'm not debating Chris, bro. Oh, come on, Garfield. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been told you that. 
I've been, I've been told you no, that. No, but you told me, you said sometime in February. Remember the last time we spoke on that? Bro, I'm not debating Chris Harris, bro. Oh, oh, man. man, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You don't, 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 you don't listen, listen, Sonetta, listen. You don't see what I see, and you don't see what my team sees. I okay. called Chris Harris after the Jabari debate and said, let's debate Friday the 13th. Right. Two days later, People are saying, why would you debate Chris and he's disrespecting you every day on the show? So why no, would I... I don't think he disrespected you, Garfield. He just went against the information. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, he didn't no, no, attack no, 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 you no, personally, no. did he? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stand it up. Stand it up. You know me. I've been disrespectful to a lot of people. This nigga's crazy. That's all I'm going to say. He's crazy. <laughs> you don't get on the phone with me and say, Garfield, let's start the new year off properly. And then two days later, you violate me. Come on, man. We I got time for emotional dudes, man. I got time for that. I ain't got time for that. I feel disrespect should be a reason to want to smash somebody, bro. You ought to want to smash that nigga for disrespecting you, man. Hey, 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 hey. That's right, Garfield. Listen, 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 listen. Get listen, him in listen, the listen, ring listen, and then use that. Listen, See, hold up, hold listen, up. But polite listen, dude, hold on, hold on, polite hold on, use hold on, all of that up. against his opponent when son they do up. that. Son it up, son it up. I made a choice. I'm not debating him. Okay, I got you. I respect you for that. All right? You could get any one of your heavy hitters, the hoodie, anybody. Well, well, brother, you are one of the you are one of the heavy hitters. I think you're the heaviest hitter that can go up against Chris Harris in this community, brother. I don't Actually, see nobody right. else. You're I right. don't. I know. I don't see nobody else. Bro, bro, going at bro. Chris, bro. I literally son it up. I literally call Chris Harris after New Year's Day, bro, and say, "Yo, let's do a debate for February 13th. I literally did that. There's nobody running from Chris. Chris is the one that violated. I didn't even know. My team, Dagger Squad, made a flyer with a flyer of Chris Harris and some other people on it and saying, these are who, this is on our hit list of people we got to beat, beat the hell out of on, um, on, on Dagger Squad YouTube channel for being disrespectful. So he's on that list. I didn't even know that when I called him. It's after I told him I'm going to debate him. I'm like, why would you debate him? Look what he's doing. I have no problem debating Chris Harris. It's like work. Chris is not a scholar. He's very eloquent, but he's not a scholar. Uh, you know, Garfield has a point, uh, Sarnetta, because we just found out, and Chris Harris needs to come on here and apologize to the entire world for lying and saying that he's an engineer and has a master's degree. We just found out that Chris Harris ain't got no degrees at all. And he lied to you, Sarnetta. <laughs> nah, 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 on, 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 nah. On, for years. Not no, just I'm not buying this. Old, First of all, you know, SBDL um, as well. He ain't got no, no damn degrees. No, no what I'm saying is. Up. We, as debaters, man, we got to be built stronger than what we are, man. We crying over little smelt milk. No, lying we, man, I can see if Chris was talking the, about your family, the, Garfield, talking about your, your children. The, 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 That's the different. But if the, the, he got in here and he's saying brother, Garfield is trash, Garfield don't got information, brother, come on. That's no reason to not debate the brother, man. That's all I'm saying. The Dagger Squad... The Arm and Raw squad for years been going at people, been banging on elders, been tearing down Jabari, been going at a lot of people. And y'all know I'm right. They're, they're, they're and scholarship. so for Chris Harris to say one little they're, thing. They're, 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 they're scholarship. Oh, man. Not one, not one little thing, my brother. Not one little yeah. thing. Trust me. Not one little thing. But it, regardless, man, just set something up. I don't know who you're going to set up with me or whatever, but I'm here. Who would right. you want, then, Garfield, so I could begin to work it don't, on it? It don't, it, don't, it don't matter anybody. You, you could get Seti? You know Seti. Well, Seti's well, still licking his wounds, man, Garfield. from from them years, man. Hold on. Who, who is that? Who that said something? That's, a, that's Smash Hebrew. Rockwell. You can link up with me. Oh, oh, yeah. That's Anonymous Hebrew. You can link up with me. Hey, why you, want, why, you want to, why, you want, why you want to debate? You want to debate prophecy, bro? Let's debate prophecy. No, Are they I false prophecies the in the Bible? No, I want to deal with the Exodus. want to deal with the Exodus? Yeah, we could we could do that. Uh oh. I want to deal with the I want to deal with the historicity of it. We could do that. I'll come over here. I know your arguments. I know your arguments so already. You know Hold on for a second. Since nobody respects Chris Harris except you, since nobody respects Chris Harris but you, maybe you need to drop Chris Harris and let us let's move on. Don't let everything hinge up on 
Chris Harris, LVP, no hairline Chris Harris. It's not that they don't respect him. It's, it's, not that, it's not that you don't respect him. What no, it is is that respect you respect that. him so much, your motherfucker's scared to get in that damn ring with him. <laughs> That's what it is, nigga. You no, no. respect him so no, damn Don, much. Don, 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 Don King, the Don King ways don't work on me. You know that already. I Listen, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guy that worked with me, my team. We all work together. And if my team don't feel it, I'm not gonna go against what my team wants. That's just what it is. Oh man! All right, I'm, hey, I respect your your um, wishes, Garfield. I you let Garfield. one monkey stop the hey, show, Garfield. Seth, one monkey. Quick question, quick question, Garfield. Are you saying mm -hmm. that no Exodus ever happened? I said the Exodus, as in the biblical text, as it written, never happened. Meaning, like all the miracles. I mean, like which part? We we know Canaanites left out of um out of Egypt. So if you're gonna use the Canaanites and say they're Hebrews or oh, Israelites, so I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my premise basically right off rip. I'm saying that there is a nomadic Western Palestinian that remains after the expulsion of the Hyksos that leaves during the end of Thutmose the third reign, and that would be our proto-Israelites. So my argument would be is that we see proof of the proto-Israelite at the early part of the 18th dynasty, and we can actually prove this. The proto-Israelites can be anybody that's a Canaanite, bro. That's a vague term. They, I mean, as a matter of fact, academia don't even use that term proto-Israelites anymore. Actually, but no, I'll say I mean, this. I'll say but this. But you would agree. Hold on, hold on. Agree. I know what you mean, though. Hold, hold on, beloved. Hold you know, on, beloved. You know what I'm I know saying. You know exactly what I'm I, know saying. Exa I know exactly what you mean. Basically, you're saying that you could prove that people left out of Egypt. That's it. No, and no, I could no, do that no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Hold on. Hear, hear me out. So now I'll, I'll make it even easier for you. I'll break it down a little bit more for what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, is we see a clear cut distinction between the Syro Palestinian and the nomadic Palestinian that comes in. That nomadic Palestinian has all of the material culture of the proto-Israelite. We can't say that every Canaanite would have been an Israelite. That's just not true. Yeah, that, that's, that's true. That's true. But, but are you saying that there's nobody lived in the lower hills of, um, of Canaan as far as the Ephraimite hills? And move no, up to where the no, Ephraimite hills I, I, are. I'm saying, I'm saying that these are the people who come in there and and start to run the raids and the invasions into the Jordan Valley around the time period that that we would link up with the Bible. And I'm gonna tell you even the scholars that I use. I use people like Scott Stripling, Bryant Woods. I might go into some Titus Kennedy. I might use some Douglas Petrovich. It just depends on what we're talking about. But my, my argument, oh my God! Only only argument I would have with Petrovich is if you want to run into the time period of Joseph. I'm not going to use Petrovich if we're talking about the Exodus. If you want to go pre-Exodus, then I'll deal with some of Petrovich. You story. know what? You know what? Let's let's you know what? Let's do this. Why don't we? Why, hold on, hold on, hold on. why don't we? Why, why don't we do this? Because you're saying about Joseph, and I don't think Joseph is a real guy. I think that's he's what just I'm a saying. That's story. why I want to argue now, the exit. That's hold why on, I want to argue on, the exit. Don't run to Joseph. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, run. don't run to Joseph. Hold hold don't run to Joseph. Keep your butt hold right on. here in the exit. My bro, uh, can I talk? Come on, brother. I know I'm you. We did this already. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Hold on a second. Listen to what I'm saying because you're calling out names of people that are not real people. So let's do this. Why don't we debate the patriarchs first? And then after that, two weeks later, we do the Exodus. Yeah. So, so we get this whole, let me, let me, whole let me this name calling about Joseph and all that. Let me get this clear. Let me get this clear. Let's get them let out of the way. Let me get mm -hmm. this clear. When it comes when it comes to debating, I want to debate scholarship. If you ask me to talk about the patriarchs, all I'm gonna tell you is at this point, all we can prove is that they're eponymous. That doesn't mean they don't exist, but I have no way to argue that. I want to argue things that I can prove. All right. No, place. because because I live. I, I, hold on. My, hear hey, me, hey, brother. Hey, you hey, just you just told me to let you speak. You just told hold me on, to that's let me fine. Speak. That's my brother. That's now fine. Now you don't want to let you me speak. I thought turn about was fair play. I thought turn about was fair play. Allow me to speak. You, Be a man. You just said Joseph, though. Let him go. Let him go, though, Garfield. Why don't you hit the link? Garfield, come Why are you using Joseph's name, though? Come in, Garfield. Hit the link. Garfield, hit the link. Just let me speak. What's wrong, bro? Hit the link, Garfield. You come in? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, family. Go ahead. Garfield, you going to come in? Hit the link. Go ahead, go ahead, talk. No, 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 let him talk. I need the phone. I need my phone real quick. Oh, man. Yeah, just hit All the right. link. You ain't got to cut your camera on if you don't want. He ain't got to come in. I, I I had the same conversation with Smash. He can hear the notes, and then we'll talk about it on the phone. Hey, right, um, so. I'm saying I think Tazariak versus Sekou would be a good debate. But go ahead, go ahead, Anonymous. Go ahead. 
So th this is my point. Since we're here, I've been waiting to do this. We go ahead and get this out the way. Don't none of y'all want this smoke on the Exodus. Let's just make mm. this clear. Let's, let's just go ahead and put it out there. Don't none of y'all want this smoke on the Exodus. I've heard y'all talk about it. Y'all lump the, the, the Hekakasu or the Hyksos into one group of people as if we don't see a clear-cut Syro-Palestinian that has ties to Egyptian because of their trade in Biblos. That's your Hyksos that come in and become foreign rulers. You have no comments or uh, understanding. I'll start calling my shots. I'll tell you to go study Avaris, study the works of Manfred B. Tech, study the works that we see of things that happen in Tel El Daba, study Quantir. Shout out to Jabari, no disrespect, but I heard him say that Pi Ramesses has no connection to Avaris. Well, I would dare you to talk to the person that studied and did research in that area for the last 30 years and then tell me about that. I don't think y'all really understand even the scholastic argument that's going on about the Exodus. So, yes, I pulled up because I want the Exodus smoke. And then we'll go from there. But you're not going to bait me into some ignorant argument where I want to prove the patriarchs. That's why Garfield got quiet. Because I'm not going to argue eponymous ancestry. And eponymous ancestry doesn't mean that they don't exist. It just means that we have a memory of people that came before us. Now, until we get to the point where we can prove that through archaeology, it makes no sense to argue that. But we can definitely get it in with this exodus. Okay. Who won't that smoke? How you doing, bro? Anonymous. I think this is my first time getting to talk to you. Hey, shout out to you. It is our first time. I got a lot of respect for you and love with you. But if you want this work, we can get it too. It's mutual. Now I just got a few questions from uh what you just said. Let's so in your in your um breakdown of the exodus that I'm, I'll be waiting to hear, are you um saying that the hike soaks? were the people have you pinpointed the hike soaks to be the people of the exodus i'm saying that if, if you're saying that the hyksos is an amalgamation of asiatics then yes but i'm saying there are there is a split in the hyksos or hyksos if you want to say it that way yeah it don't i'm matter saying that saying. i'm saying that the hyksos come in and they colonize the nomadic asiatic that was there in the middle kingdom if you study the works if you even if you look in the tomb of rechmeyer or the b'nai hassan mural we see these Asiatics coming in. And if you study that time period, if you study that area, if you go through all the stratigraphy and everything that happens, we see a nomadic, what I'm calling the proto-Israelite, we see a nomadic Semite that comes in that's more central Palestinian as opposed to the Syro-Palestinian that would be northwestern Palestinian that comes in and that northwestern Palestinian is who becomes your foreign rulers. And they actually are said to almost colonize those nomadic Palestinians and those and those Asiatics are the ones that remain after. And I'm calling my shot. I'm telling y'all everything that I'm going to say. Those are the people that remain after the expulsion of the Hyksos. And those people have an abrupt abandonment of Tel El Daba or Varis towards the end of th most the third reign, which we can only explain as the Exodus. Okay. That's my argument. I hear your argument. So now the name hike soaks you saying that might have been the, i heard you the other palestinians are people of the levant not the syrio uh palestinians those are the syro those are mm -hmm. the syro palestinians the hyksos that rule would mm -hmm. be the syro palestinians and we say this because they get a lot of their culture from trade in biblos with kemet and okay. so by the time they come in they build different house structures they have different burial practices they worship different gods the entire situation so that's the whole thing I'm trying to get towards now. I guess you still see those hike soaks as a people, even though they were the, 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 the hike soaks simply means foreign ruler. And as we look through the attestations, we won't find a people called that. It, we, we find the rulers over people. That's, that's just amazing. Like we find, just how we find these. So yeah, don't contradict nothing you said so far, because in your theory, you said that, these people called the hike soaks ruled over some other people, which is true. They ruled over a people called the Aamu, which was a the general Amu. term. Thank you, yeah, sir. Thank a general you. term Thank for you. Asiatics. Thank you. But we, we let's keep on, let's Thank keep you. on, yeah, unwinding it because we don't have to disagree. Like where we don't disagree, we just simply don't disagree. Uh, if the facts say that, the facts say that. Right. But I'm still trying to see how that gets attached to the um, biblical exodus. Yeah, no sweat. So the reason we do that now, and, and I want to make this clear. And let me just put this out here. When we deal with the biblical narrative of the Exodus, that's not the authority if we have in a debate. All we use is the narrative. So we would take the narrative and place it out there. 
So that way we don't sway from it. But when it comes to proving it, now we go into archaeology and anthropology, right? And so looking at the biblical narrative and then looking at archaeology and anthropology, we can make a strong argument that the material culture points to those people, those Amu that you're talking about, right? And we can't say every person has an Amu, but specifically the Amu that remain after the expulsion of the Hyksos that then become amalgamated with those Nubians that are taken captive. Right. Understand, is it Thutmose the first or the second runs campaigns into Nubia? They bring up Nubians. That becomes what we call the biblical mixed multitude. And that's what I'm telling you causes a lot of different things that happen at the end of Thutmose the third's reign. Right. And so my argument would be then, since we want to be real specific, is I would say if you want to call them Amu, we can call them the retinue. We can go into a lot of different terms. But if we want to deal with these Asiatics, those Asiatics that remain, mm. that would be your proto-Israelites. And then I would take that and I would attach that to the Habaru that we see in the Armana letters. And that then we would go into the Canaanite conquest. I would ask if you wanted to even to debate the Canaanite conquest, though, that we do them separate because they're two very intense debates where we would need enough time to get into everything. But that oh, would be cool. the core of my argument. So that that just means we just it's it's going to be hard to attach them basically to an event. We got to go into the archaeology, and then we don't have none in that regard. I don't want to. I mean, me and you could go keep on, but I remember the show was about Black Jesus and right, Black Jesus, Yara, 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 right on. But I just I, I, I'll make a few of my uh, points and then see if uh, the elder got something to speak towards. Um, I think it's going to be ultimately making that connection. Like, where is this ex exodus? Where are these people leaving out? And and then we jumped around a little bit. We jumped around the time chart because we know that Pi Ramses wasn't there when T Moses was there. So how could the hike soaks who eventually, you see what I'm saying? Uh, no, who okay, was yeah. Great. Let me answer that. Just, just to knock this out real quick. The other problem I didn't even is, really get to finish saying it though. Oh, you my know, fault. go because, ahead, King. I, mean, my fault. My fault. I know where you're going. I know where yeah. you're going. My fault. Go ahead. Basically, just to illustrate to the people, if we go back to the time of Tutmos and we talk about the Aamu who were there, who got who were they were fighting with too, this isn't the same contingency of people who would have built uh the, the Pi Ramses or whatever, which would have led to an exodus in your uh in your theory. And so again, I I I it seemed like you've been doing some studying, but a lot, the the final thing is going to have to happen is making a, a a a primary attachment to an expulsion, uh, which can be equated with the exodus in the time period that you're talking about. You know, what I'm saying. Okay, bet. Let me respond. So first off, and I'll respond to the latter, and then I'll go back. It's not an expulsion; it's an exodus. They exit. The expulsion is the Hyksos. Let's make that clear. The, the oh, other but you can't is, find the exodus then if you want to change the words. Well, it, well actually, we, we can. We can. And the, and the exodus happens in the complete abandonment of Avaris. Archaeology shows at the time period that the Bible would place the exodus, there's a complete abandonment of Avaris. Unbeknownst for any reason. Understand what Avaris is, especially but when you look at that. Archaeology is not bro, the I'll let you go. Let me finish. Then you can get back in. Mm -hmm. What but you're you taking up a lot more of the floor time, the floor real estate than me, if you notice that. Go ahead, brother, if you need to. I'm just being brief. All I was going to add is say the archaeology say that, but the text don't. The text say it was an expulsion from Avaris. You know, even that was a, a Jewish historian who said that, Josephus. Elder Yara, you got something to say on the point? Because you no, should don't, know don't, that the text don't. say it was an expulsion and that they were lepers in Avaris. And so if we're going to look at what the archaeology, we don't got none. Everybody know there ain't no archaeology and no exodus. So we have to refer to the text. Oh, is there one you could stop laughing and come present the archaeology of the exodus, my brother? You got the floor. Appreciate you. Please don't cut me off this time. Oh, I'm, I was, was looking at Elder Yara laughing, but you got it too. You got the floor too. Go oh, Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, because Yara know it's finna get ugly for you. Number one, there are scholars who have evidence of the exodus. That's another lie that y'all keep telling. And we'll deal with it, right? I just gave you one great one. Go look up archaeologist, PhD, Scott Stripper. He'll go ahead and give you some of that work, right? So, but back to the point. We do clearly see an exodus, right? And that exodus lies around 1446, 1450 BCE time period, right? Um, the other thing, because you said a lot. The other thing, when, when we deal with material culture, oh, no, when we deal with the actual narrative of the Bible, the book is called Exodus, 
right? What you want to do is try to connect the exodus with the expulsion. They are two separate things. Yes, there is an expulsion. And yes, there is an exodus. If we want to go and quote Josephus, we can quote some things and then we can say, like we do with all historians, I agree with this part, but I may take some, some disagreement with that part. That's simply what it means. Josephus is not the authority on the exodus. That's why I say, even when we deal with the biblical narrative, we use the biblical narrative right. as to say, as we use the biblical narrative as to say, this is what the narrative is. And then we come and support it with archeology, span anthropology, and sociological information. And that's what we have. We clearly see an abandonment of Avaris. Now to get to this Pyramuses argument, the first so, hold on real quick, this, just no, before bro, you, you switch, spoke, you, you switch spoke numbers. I just want to I'm answering all the questions. Can I but answer all your questions? Expulsion? Yes, sir. Don't, hold on, bro, bro. You said, quick, you, you said, you said five said different expulsion. Now I want to point out to the audience. You said he's doing the same thing. And now you saying I want to point out to the audience. 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 So just, ahead, I brother. just want you to note that. I ain't saying nothing. I, I'm, I'm saying something simple. Like no, I want to point out to the audience. Out. I want to point out to the audience. Want. Every but time I'm in the middle of talking. trying to get you to feel me? And with? I'm going I'm to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. Right, I, I just want to add a different question. Since you want to you wanna add a different question. Yeah, yeah. Since you want to add a different question, right? No, you and switched the words. You said abandonment. The abandonment. The abandonment is the same as an exodus. Let me explain this to you. But that's Maybe the one you didn't bring a source on. See, what brother, found my, who my said brother, it was expulsion. My brother. No my brother. Where is the source all, all due somebody respect. saying it was an expulsion? I mean, all due, an abandonment, all due, like you said. All due respect, brother. I love your work. I didn't come on here to cut you off. I'm just going to ask you to be respectful and not cut me off. I'm that's, cool. That's the a other farce. Side. We having I'm a cool. convo and you ain't got nothing to say, so you trying to talk about the conversation. Talk about the facts. I'm turning down my mic. Appreciate you. Now let's set him up again. Actually, Manfred B. Tech, PhD, who studied in Avaris for 30 years, says that there was an abandonment of Avaris in the time period that I'm talking about. Now, I answered your question. Don't cut me off. Let me answer the rest. So this is what people do, family. When you start busting them up, they don't got nothing to say. Read Manfred B. Tech's work, Avaris, capital of the Hyksos, and he talks clearly about the abandonment. Right. Mm -hmm. So there is an abandonment of Avaris. The reason I say that abandon is simultaneous with the exodus is because mm -hmm. one man's word for abandonment is another man's word for exodus. When we leave, that causes the conversation for an abandonment. Back to your statement about Pyramuses. This is the other argument that they have in academia that we seem to not be able to have the anachronistic conversation of the Bible. I've also heard people say that anachronism is only a bad thing. There is an anachronism used as a literary device when you talk about behavioral or cultural anachronism. You use certain terms that are contemporary with your time to speak about a place in the past. But now let's deal with primary sources. We can prove that Avaris is simultaneous with Pithoma Ramesses or Pyramuses when we use obviously the conversations of Avaris, but there is conversation about why priests during the time of Ramesses that say, I have finally made it to the harbor of Avaris. And this would be the time that it would have been called Ramesses. These two names are interchangeable. Once again, something that PhD archaeologist Manfred B. Tech has proven and caused all those that are serious in scholarship to start to revamp the conversation about whether or not Pyramuses and Avaris are simultaneous. I'll oh, land right okay. there. Thank you. So y'all see how he did? He didn't even do a good job. But first, I pinpointed how he went from expulsion to exodus. And then he tried to go to abandonment and then wanted to teach the people that abandonment is synonymous with exodus. So have y'all ever seen an abandoned building? Have you ever seen an abandoned city? So this means abandonment is synonymous to them. In order to make this work, abandonment has to be synonymous with exodus. Uh, exodus in Israel, how you know they didn't abandon it and go to the next city? right over right over to the next so abandonment isn't any type of details or clue or even work you brought out a scholar and you pinpointed that this scholar said it was abandoned i asked for a scholar who said something about the exodus y'all see how easy this is if you really really follow what's going on this is why we stop people real quick and put a 
attacking the screen when they're trying to shift the goalposts around. So we dealt with expulsion. That didn't happen. I mean, we 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 dealt with exodus. No, Josephus said it was expulsion or that they got expelled, right? And it wasn't an exodus that they got up and left on their own. When you tried to find some source material on exodus, you went to a scholar who said it was an abandonment of a virus. No one argues against an abandonment of a virus. No one argues that. What you're trying to make happen is that be synonymous with an exodus. And I'm sure everybody can see that, that bringing up the abandonment of any city don't show that there was some pilgrimage into the Levant or some biblical exodus that they left, followed some leader for spiritual purposes. And that's all I was trying to put forward. We still don't got no source work on the exodus. You see? But we Great. got Let some on abandonment. Great, let me respond. Now we're playing a game of semantics. This is how you know nah, you're cutting you cut you change it. Brother, I let you I, once again, I let you speak without cutting me off. Let's get it. Now we're playing a game of semantics, right? If I exodus, if I exit out of somewhere, that's an abandonment. If I abandon something, that's an exodus, right? The conversation now has changed from him dealing with the source of these actual Semites who were nomadic Semites that amalgamated with the Nubians and abandoned Avaris for reasons unbeknownst to Kemet, because we don't hear him talking about it. I haven't heard any of y'all bringing up the abandonment of Avaris. First off, let's point this out. I haven't heard any of you bringing up the abandonment or the exodus of Avaris at the end of Thutmose III's reign. None of y'all. Why are you talking that nonsense? Why? Because you know that's where the evidence of the exodus lies. So why you want to play the semantic game, everybody in the audience can, can I have tell this one? Can I have this one? You can, you can allow me to finish. You can allow me to finish. Yeah, yeah Joe, John, hey, hey, Jonathan, let me get hey, this one next. Hey, look, now, now, I do want to point out. Now, I do want to point out. Yeah, this is what happened when I pull up. And now let me say this. I'm going to deal with Chris. No, not really. I'm going to deal with Chris. Thank you. And then after I'm done with Chris, I'm going to deal with whoever else wants this smoke. See, so that's what I do. I got no source on the advantage. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm done. I got, I mean, I got, I got plenty of... I just, I just gave you... Look, so, ha once again, have you read... And I'm just giving you one source. Have you read Avaris, the capital of the Hyksos by Manfred Vite? Have you I read thought it? You brought that. No, I have not read it, but I okay, thought so, you brought so, it. Okay, so 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 then don't knock that, that source. source. All right, so hold, on, hold on, hold on. Everybody got to hold on, hold on. We got to get order. We got to get order. So, so, then, so then don't hold knock on, that Hold on, time out, time out. Everybody time out. We got to get order here. I see I got a strong brother here, Um, Anonymous. May not be afraid to get in the ring with Chris Harris, so... Um, I might have to let Chris Harris get in real quick. Me and Kristen already had this conversation. I would love to debate some yeah. of yeah. yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. But, I'm already Chris, you're so bad on You sound oh, bad, let Chris. Say, let me say Let me say this. Hold Chris, on, Chris. Chris you sound Chris. bad. Your mic sound bad, Chris. Go ahead, Anonymous. Okay, can y'all can y'all hear me loud and clear now? Yes. So okay. Chris me and Anonymous had a debate, and it was a great debate. And um, I pulled it out and in that debate. But I do want to ask Anonymous because there's a hole in your argument and what you're saying. But let me address this first. Yo, Sarnetta, Garfield is full of it, bro. He ain't called me and gave me <laughs> nothing in that debate. I guess no Zion Lex. I oh, y'all probably would even know man, that I didn't no even fear. need that. That is horrible, man. Yeah, get on out of here. And at that, remember, guys, I had a slide show. I prepared slides with that one. The only person that saw that presentation was outside the queue before the debate. And anybody knows, I'll say, hey, man, what you think about this? And besides that, notice what I kept saying in that debate. Your argument fits my argument, Zion. So that's not going to work, Garfield. We know what you're trying to do. You're trying to create a new reason not to debate one of the top people over here on this channel. First, it was a situation with your family. Then it was another situation with your family. Now that you gave me some answers. If that be the case, that would mean that you would not have to sit up there debating. Two, check this out. He sent me some slides and I didn't even use them. And I said, I can't read this. We're not going to do that. So watch this. Um, I want to address uh, Anonymous Hebrews' hole in his argument. Let me address the hole in his argument. He's mentioning Tuckmost the third, But the Bible, which hey, Chris, is supposed Chris, to be Chris, their Chris, word of Chris, yeah, hold go ahead. on before you get to that, because you brought Garfield up. Yeah. Garfield is in the building. Go ahead, let's Garfield. get it. Go ahead. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Chris, Chris, I never, I never emailed you articles 
while you were live under the yes. bed? Watch this. He emailed me an art. First, he said he called me, family, and told me to read this. We did. He talk. emailed did me. In. It's, hold on. Let me talk. Hold on. We were live. I'm sorry to make a question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, you just because said it. You're a liar. Hold on. You are lying. No, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm going to show you guys. Where did you get that? He sent me some stuff. Where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? Where did you get that? I got it from Zion Lance. He was using it. No, he was using it live on air. You're lying. No. You so didn't give me any of that, that Garfield. Hey, what he did was, hold on. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. I'm going to show you the email. Watch what he does. I'm going to show you the email. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He showed me. He sent me. First you said Torah.com. He sent me some slides with Edith Bruder, and I didn't even use it in the debate. Yeah, but I see how you try to you mix your guy up. No, 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 no on, you did not. You're telling you a lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you just tried to mix it up. All right, hey, God, hold on, hold on, hold on. It would be better because I don't want. Hold on, hold on, one second, started. I started. Hold on, one second. Slander, slander, slander. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. Hold on, one second. He just said Garfield is a liar. He had his slides outside of Q Toy. The minute I got on the phone, he said, "Oh, I did email him stuff. I did email him stuff, right?" Where did you get that article that destroyed dialect that night? Where did you get it from? Okay, one more time. Notice how Garfield constantly moves his argument around. First, he said he called me with the Torah.com. That was a I lie. I did call you. Then he I said, hold you. on, can I finish? Let him finish. Can Garfield. I finish, Let him please? Finish. Let him finish. Then he said he sent me some slides that I never used because I couldn't synthesize that information. I didn't understand it because I never read Edith Bruder's work that you presented me. So I said, why present this in my debate? I presented 18 slides that defeated Zion Lex on my own. You tried to help, which is fine because everybody would need a team behind them every now and then. But that does not take away from my debate. What you're trying to do is steal the thunder. And what I did in that debate, I said, thank you, Zion Lex. Your argument agrees with me. And the same slides or the same article that he was using on Torah.com were on my slides already. Stop it, Garfield. You are a liar. So can we move on now? Let me ask Anonymous Hebrew this real quick. Because that was weak, Garfield. And it still means that you don't want to get in a ring with me in a debate. You will rather slam first. Get out of here. Sure that debate happened sure last sure year. I want to make sure y'all. So let me say this real quick. Now that I can get back to Anonymous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to Anonymous. Hold Hold on, let, me, let, me, let me say something. Let me say something real quickly. Let me say something real quickly. The debate is on record. And him bringing up the Torah.com about Deuteronomy 28 and the Assyrian Esardon Treaty. Towards Zion Licks that night. And I. Okay. All right. So, um, Anonymous. Anonymous, real quick. Um, let me, Chris, like I said, Chris, say, this hey, is on, Chris, argument. Hey, Chris, hold the on. The base is heating up. Hey, before anybody before. say something, let me say this, y'all, because I got to moderate this thing right. I want to let everybody know, man, under the sound of my voice, man, KJ, cut your camera on, KJ. Cut your camera on, on Smash and um, Chris. I'm in yeah. the car. Okay. I'm in the car. I want all yeah, of y'all to hear See? this, man, and understand. There's nothing wrong with brothers getting information from each other, bro. I don't know why y'all right. think that's something wrong with that. If As long as you're not in the debate, if you come up and say that white scholars do it all the time, they got, they got researches for people to do that all the time. So we need to stop acting like that's, that's something bad for us to get information. We do it all the time. We share information. There's nothing wrong with that. And so we got to stop right. acting like it's that's that shit is taboo. It's not. If you're going into a debate and you got a brother that fuck with you and he said, yo, I got this right here. Check this out. I'm quite sure Jabari do it. All of us do it. Everybody do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. That's all I want to say. Right. Say that to y'all, man. So go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Y'all can go on. Yeah. So let me say ask Anonymous on, this on, um, because real quick. Hold on. Because you know me. And you no, because I don't want to get off topic because I don't. That's fine. Yeah, just BJ, let's just get into it real quick. But I, I want to do. I want to say this real quick though. I want to make sure that Elder Yara and BJM are good with this because this is really their show. 
Yeah, yeah I'm, you know, fall, you, I'm you, falling you. all the way back in the bushes. All right, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Elder Y'all Rock can jump in whenever he wants. He know that. He good. Go ahead. Um, okay. Chris? Okay, cool. Um, anonymous. All right. So I want to ask you something real quick because your, your biblical narrative, is that the source of the Exodus? Is that your primary source for the Exodus? Like I said, the biblical the biblical narrative would be the overview of the explanation of the er of the narrative. But we would deal with archaeology, okay. we would deal with anthropology and sociology to actually try to prove oh. it. So, okay, and you're saying, and you're sitting up there saying that um, so it's not a primary source for your, it's not the primary source for your Exodus account. Am I correct? It's the primary source for the narrative. Yes, it has to be the primary. It's the primary source. But it's okay, not the so does the Exodus source, have, but it's not the primary source for the proof. Does that make sense? To okay, you? So does, okay, so the Bible is not proof of the Exodus. Is that what you're saying? I I'm just want to be clear. That, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in a scholastic debate, <laughs> we want to use more than the Bible. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, the Bible okay. is the primary source for the <laughs> narrative, but it can't be the primary okay. source when we're having a scholastic debate in terms of proving it. Can there's I, a difference between... Okay, so... Hold on a second. One second. Things. I'm about to be done, guys. Brothers, I'm hey, about to be cool, done real man. quick. Hey, 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 look. What's the problem with y'all allowing me to... No, answer? somebody trying to cut in. Somebody trying to cut in, Anonymous, and I'm just telling them to hold on. Go ahead. That's what All I'm right, saying, brother. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I'm extremely calm. You know this. You know I'm cool. So, the point that I'm making is this. I've heard y'all say over and over, we can't use the Bible to prove the Exodus. Great. Let's not use the Bible to prove it, but we have to use the Bible as the narrative, right? So we have to have a narrative, and then we need to have something in science that will prove our argument. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Good. All right. So when you're talking about the Bible said that you guys built the cities of Ramses or Usama'at Rasa Tepid Ra Ramesh and Maryamin, right? It says that's what y'all built. Was the Bible correct in that, in saying that? Culturally, anachronistically, yes. Okay, anachronistically. Okay, culturally, smash, copy that down. Culturally, okay, but you keep mentioning, yeah. got you. Okay, so, but you keep on mentioning Tutmos the third. That's what I said. Tutmos the third reigned in the 16th century BCE. Would you agree with that? No, I would say 15th century BCE. 15th century BCE? Yeah, okay, 15th century BCE. Huh? Go ahead. I, don't, I thought Smash said something. I said 15th century. I said 15th century. Okay, 15th century, 15th century BCE. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. And Ramses, which Ramses was it? Was it the first, second, or third? There is no Ramses in the Exodus. There is no Ramesses in the Exodus, as I said, and I'll say it to you again. Uh, but the Bible mentions Ramses. And like I told you, we deal with this through cultural anachronism conversation. So with a cultural anachronism. Okay, so why we? No, 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 that's fine. No, you gave me my answer. You gave me the answer. I'm telling you, you gave me the answer. So how are y'all fighting against the Philistines who don't come into the area until the 12th century BCE? And that's proven with archaeology amazing argument we talked about this in our debate right? so what we see is the philistines would be lined up with ashkelon so the ashkelon area of that time period would be once again a biblical cultural anachronism we're not i'm not running away from the cultural anachronism argument because we so you see so you guys were fighting brother, with ashkelon lights brother brother can i can i talk thank you so okay go ahead clearly, so we clearly see cultural anachronisms so when we deal with the time period where it talks about the Philistines during the Exodus, that would be Ashkelon. When you want to talk about the later time period when you're dealing with Philistines, then that would be the accurate time period that we would deal with Philistines, right? So it depends on your time period. That's why it's important to actually have enough respect to study all cultural text, right? The, I, I, when I tell you, when I ask you, have what? you taken the time, have you taken the time yes. to really map out the biblical time period, and when would the Bible say the Exodus happened? You may have, but most most of these people don't have enough respect to do that. So that's the problem. I, I'm that's sorry. Problem. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Once again, I'm sorry. Once again, um, I'm confused with your argument of cultural anachronism. Yeah, your Bible I'm says saying. you guys that's were fighting. Hold on. Your Bible says you guys were fighting against Midianites. Your Bible says you guys were fighting 
against the Philistines. Your Bible says you guys were fighting against them. Now, archaeologically, you they don't get there into the 12th century BCE. This is the Philistines. This is a this is what you call a consensus. All right, it's a consensus, anonymous, and you're saying cultural anachronism, and you mentioned the Ashkenalites. Okay, can you show me any indigenous writings of the Philistines or the Ashkenalites that identifies them with one another? No, but I can show you DNA, right? So what we do... Okay, you know, so, so you show me, you said you can show me, you can't show can me can any writings. Can I answer a question? Can Let I him answer, answer the question, sure. Chris. I just, I just need a little time Got to answer it. the question because I, I clearly see y'all getting nervous, right? So just like I... No, not really. Like, yeah, it is. So just like I showed you before, right? When we deal with Philistines, this would be ancient Ascalon at that time period. Once again, we don't run away from cultural anachronisms because the Bible is a collection of multiple books and actually oral traditions that was later compiled around the 6th or 7th century, right? That doesn't take away from the argument. Now we deal with cultural anachronisms, which means I would call Avaris, Pyramuses, so the people of my day, of my time period, would be able to associate where these people originated from with Pyramuses or Avaris. The same thing with the Philistines. I have no argument or qualm with you that says these Philistines would have been Ashkenalites, or we're talking about the area of Ashkelon. Now, if you think that the debate hinges and rests on that, then let's have that debate first. Let's have the argument first about the Philistines and the Ashkenalites. Because what I want to argue is the Exodus. And what I keep ha seeing happen is I'm going to find one thing that I can latch on to. So now we can make the a Gish Gallup argument that says you don't have enough time to deal with that and the Exodus. So if you want to deal with Ashkelon and the Philistines, then let's line that debate up first. Right? All right, Before cut. Stop, stop. It. Everybody stop. Chris Harris. Do you want What's this? Up? Um, do you want the smoke with um, anonymous? Yeah, everybody come on, let's else get is a easy work. So what we're gonna do? Easy work. Um, I, I can debate him easy. All right. So Elder Yara, no, what we're gonna do is we I'm gonna call you so I can speak to anonymous because I don't have his number, and so we're gonna set up a date with Chris. Well, now we got somebody for Chris, and um, we're gonna find out. All right. So let me. What let's you're saying is, up. hold up. So before I want to bring in Sam. So just so I understand, before I can get the Exodus debate, I got to debate Chris on the Ashton line. No, no, it depends on whatever y'all want to debate. Y'all could do the Exodus if Chris want that. Y'all could yeah. do it. Yeah, I can do it. I can, I can debunk the Exodus easy. I okay, can debate there you go. We the do the Exodus easy. debate. Okay, so let me, let, me get this, let me get this last point out. Me and Chris have debated the Exodus before. Once again, I don't mind debating Chris on it again. But I want to make it clear. And yeah, let's just get it out of the way. That's easy work for me, right? But the point that I want to make okay. is this. I would like to debate Chris on something more pressing. That's all. I think Chris is over here building the name. I want to argue with him about something that we haven't argued before. Not that I don't want to debate him. I want to debate him against about something that we haven't debated, like Solomon's Temple in comparison to um, the Temple Mount. Right? Do we see proof of oh, Solomon's sure. Temple? Sure. Sure. The temple sure. I, I would like to deal with sure. Whatever sure. you agree to, that's what y'all debate on. Sure. sure. But, sure. But, but Easy work. But let's make Never existed. But let's, right, right. But let's make this clear. But let, make, let's make this clear. Yeah. I, want the, I want the Exodus debate with somebody first, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hold, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm confused. I'll debate you on the Solomon's Temple. It never existed. I can show you where it was copied from. The don't exact give it up. same don't give measurement. It up. Chris, Chris, don't give it up, Got man. You. What are you doing? I won't. We already know each other's I argument. Won't. What you mean? He can't give nothing up. He know my argument. I know his. So this is the point I'm saying. I okay. have no problem. Once again, I have no problem. Anonymous. No, I is it okay if I, anonymous? Okay, fine. I'll debate you on the Exodus, but you are on here. You are on here live telling everybody that the Bible is not the word of God. And you're an Israelite. Yeah, I, I could. We could have. We could have this argument too, right? So when you say the word of God, since you want to switch, you want to move the argument now. What does the word of God mean? This sounds like a Christian thing. I'm not a Christian. Everything in it, everything that's in it, is the story of the Exodus true? Yes, but that in the Bible, mean, uh, according yes. to the Bible. Yes, but that doesn't. Okay, mean there you have it. Allow me. Uh, right. So now, now what you're doing is pigeonholing. So what I'm saying is this: 
I, I don't believe in inerrancy of scripture. I believe we need to rewrite the Bible, right? I believe 100% we need to rewrite the Bible, right? There are a lot of issues that we have, right? That, that's number one. Number two, I'm a Yahwist. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. I think if I'm going to deal with this, I want to go back to the ancient understanding of this book. I deal with Yahweh. I don't deal with Hellenized Christianity. I don't deal with Judaism. I don't deal with Islam. Nothing against them. They're able to have their belief system. I'm not mad at them. But if I want to get to the core of this thought process, I deal with Yahweh. That goes back to the okay. Midianites, the Kenites, and this desert deity. Uh -huh. Right? So okay, that's, have, that's cool, but you, that's you don't believe in... Okay, so you don't believe in Yeshua, Jake, uh, Joshua, Jesus, yeah, or anything I, like that? Yeah, I do. Or believe, Jesus? I do believe in Yeshua, that I, but I don't believe. In okay, the so that's Helen. That you were Hellenized Jew then. Let me, let me hold on, let me hold finish. on, real quick. Let me yeah, let me finish. listen. You asked me anonymous. Question, brother, you gotta allow me to answer. If you're gonna ask me, <laughs> no, I didn't. Me open, if you if you're gonna ask me open-ended questions, you gotta allow me to answer. If you want me to answer, a question, no, I didn't ask you an open and That is not the you. Listen, excuse so, me, that is not an all all anonymous. Let me all right, everybody, oh, time out. One at a time. This is one crazy. At time. One at a time. Can I finish, please? Let me answer the question. I'm going to ask you. Then frame it. No, let anonymous. Just let me speak for Let me answer the Go question. Go ahead, man. Frame it for me. Appreciate you. So all when right, it comes man. to Yeshua, when it comes to Yeshua, and some of my Israelite brothers would argue with me on this, right? I, I view this more uh, esoteric understanding. I do believe that there was a man named Yeshu ha Natsari or Yeshu ben Yosef, that was a teacher of Torah, that lived, and he taught the Torah. All of this other stuff, now we start to get into Hellenization, right? All of this, trying to make this man do a lot of these miracles, I'm not saying I agree or disagree, I'm saying anytime we get into do you believe that arguments, the uh, anytime you get into spiritual arguments, anytime you get into spiritual arguments, that's your belief system, and that's not something worth debating. What was your question? Do I believe what? Okay, so I want everybody to hear what he, he does. Do you a believe lot. that Jesus? Hold on, excuse me, brother. Can I let me finish this? Up? I'm, um, I'm gonna have Sonnet to give us a call because I want to let the panel go. Yeah. Um, let the panel go after this. But um, I want everybody to hear what uh, what Anonymous does a lot. He does a lot of talking. Remember what I talk about on morning coffee? These guys give these long, drawn out answers on simple yeah, questions. Yeah, tonight, he said that he believes in he believes in Yahwism. But um, people who believe in Yahweh, they don't believe in part making partners with their God. If you read the book of uh, Maccabees, first and second Maccabees, they had a problem with Serapis worship. And the fact is, you are now worshiping Serapis by worshiping Jesus and making partners with God. You are Hellenized Jew. The very concept of the Christ of the Bible comes from Serapis worship and the fact that you've made partners with Jew. There's no ancient Judaic text, no ancient Galilean text, or no ancient Talmud, which consists of Mishnah and Gemara, that speaks of a man dying for your sins. So, Sai, give him a call. Give yes. Yara a call so we can set yes. this debate up. And I'm going to let these brothers have it. Um, let these brothers have it back. Um, and this will be an easy debate. All right, guys. All right, peace. Right, peace to the HBK. Can you get that donation, Sai? Because I'll be thinking they're yes, coming through. I'll, get the I'll think the donations come through. All right, that's it. Hey, we got Godfield in the building. Huh? Godfield. Give me 60 seconds. Give me 60 seconds to respond to him trying to classify my thoughts. All right, we got Godfield in the building. Go ahead, um, Anonymous. Right, 60 seconds. So first off, just because I believe that Yeshua existed doesn't mean that I believe in Serapis worship. I believe that Christ is the monogenes, a unique person that was born of a woman. I don't believe in any virgin birth or any immaculate conception. A unique person that was born of a woman that was blessed to come and lead the people with revolutionary teaching. That's simply it. Simply put, I believe that he's in, a, in the realm of a prophet, of a teacher, an anointed one to come and teach us and lead the people back to Torah. That's why I say I'm not a Christian. I don't lean towards Judaism. I don't lead towards those conversations. No, no knock on those. That's just not my thought. So if you want to ask me what I believe, then do that. If not, don't, you know, don't pretend to be a scholar and try to lump my conversation in with something that's everybody else. Right. This is what we call red herrings or straw men. Since Chris wants to talk about what everybody else does, we can call Chris the straw man king. He creates straw men and then burn them down. Why? Because he can't address your true argument. Notice we started talking about the Exodus and we ended up dealing with Yeshua. Why? Because I came here and put my biblical foot in everybody's butt. Let's go.
Hey, no, stop. Hey, stop. Hold, stop. Hold, Hold on. on. Time out. Time no. out. Everybody time we out. Ask for a story. Hey, stop. Ask me for that I'm coming. Man. I'm it's coming to you. I'm coming to you, Smash. And then I got to come to Garfield. Let me, let, me, let me do this. Real Hold real. on. Time out. Everybody time out for a minute. Um, I want to say, Elder Yara, you were right when you told me that Anonymous was a bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to just say, brother, I think you, you right, brother. You right on this one right here. God damn, Anonymous know his shit. Light, light work. He it's know light his work. stuff, it's brother. So if y'all want to go up against a time. brother like that, y'all got to know y'all shit. Oh, I ain't so, even sweating yet, son. I got I'm all just, night. I'm just saying, man. Uh, go ahead. Real quick, my brother, Smash. And then I got to come to Garfield. Smash hey, been Smash, waiting in Smash, the ring. Can I, can yeah, I all I was you? saying was Smash. we went from, we went over, what's up, Garfield? We can went I over three times. I'm going to be real quick. I'm going to just say one sentence. We went over three terms. We went over expulsion. We went over exodus, and we went over abandonment. The one term he couldn't show a source for was exodus. That's all I gotta say. All right. Yeah, hey, Sonny, um, yeah. I just need two minutes of your time, and then I'm gonna go ahead, go. Garfield. Can you share the screen, please, real quick? Okay. This is the day of the debate, February twentieth, as you see right here. This is Jeez. the time period of when the debate is going on. Look at this. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. 813, 838, 905, 1042. Why are you on the phone during the debate if Garfield never helped you? Let me show you Let me show you something else. Let me take this off the screen because since Garfield is a liar, I'm going to prove to y'all this right now. Look at this now. We love receipts. So look at, look at this right now. This is the actual debate that's going on. So when, when Zion pulled this out, right? When Zion said this, look at this. This is from the Torah.com website. Academic biblical study and orthodoxy. This is this is Zion talking. Musings by college professor Josh. He called me because he was nervous. He didn't have a response for this. So look at the forty-nine minute mark when he comes in. He's not on his slides anymore. Remember, he said he had his slide, right? Look what he pulls up. I am ready now. Here we go. First of all, he just did an appeal to authority. You see this? The Torah.com. It's not in his slides. If you notice, it's on Google. He, he googled that. Because I gave him the link to this. Uh oh! Look at this. This goes into Deuteronomy 28 and the Esau Hadan Vassal Treaty. Why, why one depends on the other. Who gave him this? This is and what murdered no um, Zion Lex that night. I don't lie, son. I don't need to lie. Good night. I don't need to lie. Uh -oh. Big God feel in the building. What's happening, buddy? I love y'all conscious community. And trust me, I love y'all in the deepest. I debate anybody except a crazy ass dude. And everybody knows that. I just get, you want an Adamus Hebrew? I just get an Adamus Hebrew. Put that up. That's do it. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I would love to debate Garfield on this. I know. I, I, I want to I wanna get, um, get scared-ass Pastor Bennett back in here, man. Because I believe Pastor Bennett, he don't like giving people rematches. When they, um, you know, when, when shit happened, like to Zariak, he had a baby on the way the day of his debate. He ain't want to give Tazariak a rematch. He ran with that W. And now he don't want to give Chris a rematch. He's running with that W. I think Pastor Bennett need to get a scary ass back in the ring and, and have a man-to-man, a -man, straight-up debate. And, and if he thinks he beat him one time, he should easily be able to do it again. Pastor Bennett, you got the floor. What do you say about this, brother? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told y'all. I told you, hey, Sarnetta, nobody, Sarnetta, nobody, can, nobody can touch Sarnetta in this. <laughs> hey, Sarnetta, you gonna stop lying? Number one, I did debate Tazariak again. I debated. No, you did Yes, I yes, I did. Remember on my platform? On yours? Go look at it. It's up twice. After he had the child, I debated him about his salvation just for Israel. Remember? Yeah, sure did. I oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, and I did. I'm still saying you didn't. No, nah, we did. We did. He probably just don't remember. It's on your platform. Okay. Hey, but hold on. Stop. Don't, don't do that. I'm not debating Chris anymore, not because I, I beat him the first time. That's not why. Let me let everybody know for sure why I'm not debating Chris. <clears throat> Chris is very disrespectful, no matter what y'all try to say, right? We talk our stuff about the debate. Chris come out of his mouth reckless. But here is why I'm not, Son Sonetta. Because Chris won't be honest. If Chris came out and was like, look, I lost and left it at that. But when he's trying to take the narrative 
that it was because of, I'm going to leave that alone, other reasons. No, no, brother. No, you probably didn't hear it. He came out and did say, you Chris know, I lost recently, that. He did came heard, out and said that. I heard Chris recently on his platform talking about Garfield and said, at HOK, we stick it out. He, boy, yo, man, man. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't stick it out. It's because of well, the people are like talking about it. That this man just said he's a top debater. The person who just left the debate said he's a top debater. No, Sanada, you have done this. This man just called Garfield a liar. Garfield just put on the screen the phone calls. You seen the green and the email. You, I'm not, I don't play these type of games. Got exposed. Right? Got exposed. Gonna be real. We're going to be real. Sonetta, I ain't never seen you get this soft for somebody. I ain't never seen Sonetta be this soft. Hell no. I ain't never seen my man Sonetta get this soft about somebody. Hey, yo, Sonetta. Hold on, hold on, Chris. Hey, yo, Chris This is so hilarious. hilarious. Hey, hey, yo, I'm hilarious. loyal to all my brothers, This man. is hilarious. Chris is Chris. Yo, watch okay. this. Hold on, Chris. Hold on, Chris. No, no, you got it, Pastor Bennett. You got it. You got it. You got it. Listen, Sonetta, I just sent you when he called me. When Garfield called me, I sent you the email. He said, I sent you um, two books. He said, read them out loud to Zion Lex. I never used them. No, no, no. I sent you the emails on that day. I sent you, I sent them to you, Sonetta, yes, you did. to yes, your you did. email. Yes, you and did. I never used them. That he's a liar. He's lying. You a liar, Garfield. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna give it back to four real quick. Sonetta, this is your fault because you had a way of resurrecting dead man. And you and you and you did not humble Chris. You made you made this man think. That we don't see what we see, hear what we hear. After his debate with me, this man was back on YouTube in 10 minutes. That ain't a brother who's going through a tough situation where he can't take the internet. So stop letting this man lie. Garfield just showed the numbers at 8.30, 7.30, 10.30 while he formed the debate with Zion Lex. You can't get... So you are right. You can get information from anybody. Like, that's crazy to say we can't share sources with people before and even after the debate. But not during a debate because oh you gotta have a rebuttal God. game. And your rebuttal game can't come from your team. And that's what y'all been getting on Reggie for doing when he went in the bathroom for years. So I'm putting this at the floor of the HOK uh, master, Sonetta, because this is you. You have to get control of your debaters. And Chris could be a great debater, but you gotta humble him first, Sonetta. Share my screen, Son. And he uh -huh. he my screen. Hey, um, real quick. Okay, Sonetta, real quick. All right, hold on. He we going into Chris preaching. Now. We got to let Chris Okay, respond. now watch this. Now, I want to show you something, Sonetta. I sent you both emails. Now, right now, Garfield's argument is crumbling. He did call me. He did send me Edith Bruder's number. I mean, those are uh, on Edith Bruder and said these ain't on um, that uh, Edith Bruder wasn't talking about white Jews. But I never used them. Because I could not synthesize the information. I'm not saying Garfield didn't. But he's trying to take um, advantage of the Torah.com. But notice, my entire debate was scaled out in slides. My own presentation. Hold and on, then, on. I'm going to show you even how... Hold on, hold, hold on, on, Garfield. Let him finish. Let him finish. Hold on, his argument is crumbling now. Then, to show you even how more disingenuous this brother is... He goes live and says, Chris destroyed uh, Zion Lex all on his channel. Chris destroyed him. Now he's on here trying to do what? Try to get back at me because he was embarrassed for not showing up to the biggest debate of his life. And let's be honest, Pastor Bennett, you're on here calling Jabari a liar all the time, moving the goalposts. I said that I lost the debate and I moved on. Yeah. I don't talk about yeah. you like that. He I did. never did he my did. presentation on you. And this is the problem with you that I have with you because you're a pastor. You're a pastor. You're supposed to be holding yourself to a higher standard. As a matter of fact, you are not even supposed to be debating because your book teaches you not to debate. But you're over here with us debating. So you get what's coming. And two, he never read Justin Martyr. As Jabari tried to tell him, he doesn't listen to what people is saying to him. He didn't even listen to you, Sonetta, when you sat up there and said that, yo, Chris said it. He ignored what you said just so he can go into one of his little uh, Christian ad hominem attacks against my character. I'm better than you, um, Pastor Bennett. You sit on these panels all day. 
you never provide one source and the sources you do provide, you have not clearly researched them. I just think you're high strong and you just don't know. Now, as for Garfield, Garfield, you called me. You sent me those two, uh, uh, Edith Bruder's book and We the Black Jews or whatever it was. I never used it. I didn't have to. I had them in control. And it's me that synthesizes the information. It's me that makes the presentation and the debate. Not some silly source that you provided like you did with the two Egyptian sources claiming that they stole from Canaanites. That's what you're mad about because I expose you for misrepresenting your own sources. So you can go on here and you can do this all you want. It doesn't mean anything. We know you for running and moving away from the biggest debate of your career on this channel and making up, a, making up excuses. That's why you're doing it. And even if you did, it still doesn't get away from anything that I presented on this channel. You and the Dagger Squad, which was actually Dagger the Bible Squad that I just found out. It was called Dagger the Bible Squad. You're just a Christian apologist who mm. butt hurt because you can't prove Jesus existed. Right. I'm out, Sonetta. Ain't okay. Ain't okay all day. Ain't okay all day. First of all, okay all all day. First of all Sonetta, I got a problem with you now. Because oh just, shit! Now you got a problem with me, brother? Because he just said I ran from a debate, right? And he said I made up excuses. Now he's violating me and my family and what happened. Now I'm gonna ask you: Why would you put a bomb for that? And that's not true. Why would you do that? You are you are supporting Chris and his bad behavior. My 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 brother Sarnetta. The debate started at 1 p.m. Was Garfield prepared to debate? Yes or no? Yes, he was, brother. At 2 p.m. Was Garfield ready to debate? Yes, she was. At 3 p.m., was Garfield ready to debate? Yes, she was. So how did Garfield get the... Get, how did this come about that Garfield is running when Garfield is there for three hours ready to debate? Yes, she was. Oh, yes, no, and, no, I, no, and no. I told the people you wasn't running. I said that. No, I said you, that. no you came out live during the debate. I mean, I... I no, that was after when we was right, finally right. ready. Hold up, Garfield. When we was finally ready... Right, that's right, when right. you was like, yo, I got to go. And you ain't, you know, right, that's right, what right, happened right. on that. Now, now, now watch but this. as far watch as you this, being brother. there, yes, you was there. Watch this, Sonetta. Can you please share my screen, my brother? All right, watch this, family. Remember, I just played this video. This is not his slides. This is the slide that made him win the debate. Because he showed the he showed Deuteronomy 28 is, a, is attached to the Esarhaddon Treaty of the Assyrians. That's what so won I'm the debate. I'm loving the 15. So if you Somebody notice right here, for an extra round. look at this, right? Look at this. In the desperate straits to which the enemy siege reduces you, you will eat the... Look at that. 10 the minutes reading the out. same slide. If the same article. Look with words and lips. Look at him. Look when he switched. Look when he switched to his... Um, not, look when he switched to his slides now. Look at this now. If you swear the oath with words and lips only. So, Garfield, is this the slide you gave him? I gave him this article. After this tree. He read Same it for 10 minutes. Structure. If you have a slide, why are you using an article for 10 minutes? Brother it was a dagger. This you is guys don't have the original text. You he couldn't, have to he prove couldn't, the he couldn't original recover text existed first. Not. What's it called? Look now. Now he switched back to his slide. You see the slide on the left? He switched to the slide. I think I read. See that? Students, you guys for 10 minutes, from 59 right. minutes, if you swear, so 49 minutes, and lip, from 49 minutes, from 49 minutes, from 59 minutes, from 59 minutes, from 59 minutes, hey Garfield, now hold, hold on. on one second beloved, one second, one second, one second beloved, I got you, now watch his family, he is correct though, with the slides that I sent him about Edith Bruder, you see I'm an honest dude, he's right, he never used them, but he used the article that killed the article that Zion used from the same website. That was the dagger of the night. And if it wasn't important, why are you using it for 10 minutes out of your 10 minutes for your debate? There you go. There you go. All right, so, let me so, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to lie. He is correct as far as the Edith Bruder and the white Jews in Africa. He never used that. But he used that article for 10 minutes and read it in front of all the people. You could go to the go to the debate right now and see for 10 minutes. I ain't got to lie. From the 49-minute mark to the 59-minute mark, he read it. I don't Garfield have to. Garfield had to hold Chris Harris' hand the whole goddamn time. Garfield had to hold his hand the entire time. Thank you, Garfield, for exposing hold on, hold on, me. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Sign, on, it up. Sign it up. One more thing, my brother. To be fair, one more thing. 
Let me, I'm going to ask you to do this for me one more time, brother. Hold on one second here. A big shout out to my man, Black Jesus. What's happening, man? This is very good. I, 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 I showed the phone calls, family. I showed the phone calls earlier. I don't have to show it again. And I'm telling y'all, you see, when people lie, I tell you, he called me five times. I showed I showed it. He called me at, look at the times, 746. The debate started at 813. He's calling me at 746 before the debate started at 8 o'clock. Then, then he calls me at 813. Then I call him back at 8.30 twice. Then he call me at 9.05 and 10.42 twice. <laughs> Why are the game going on? Come on, family. Come on. Come on. Come on. Exposed, Chris hey, Harris. Hey, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, one more thing, one more thing. I'm not mad with Sonetta because of Shaka and Du Kemet. What I was mad about is that I brought my degree to Sonetta's house and showed him. And I said, Sonata is listening to the dude saying I don't have a degree, and he never said anything. That's why I was upset at the time. But I wasn't upset with Sonata because of that. Because Sonata did come on the live and say, yes, I have seen Brother Garfield's history degree. He did say that. So I can't be mad at him because on the same live, he actually said that. He has seen it. So at the end of the day, I don't have, I don't care about y'all. Whatever y'all want to say in, in the chat. I know, I, I, hey, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, family, what I said about Chris, I was right on point. Shout hey. out to my Hebrew. I did the interview with the brother today. Thank you for that, bro. I ain't tell you thanks for that. My bad. Let, let, me, bad. Say, let me say this one more time. No, no problem. No problem, Garfield. Real quick. Real quick. Uh, so, real quick. So, again, Sonetta, this is your fault. This And, and Sonetta, you got to get in the ring with, with people you want to be your champ and your fighter. Get in the ring. Because you know good and well, you should be calling Chris right now and saying, get yourself right back on this in that ring. You don't talk talking in run because that's what he known for. You see how he came? He left, came back, did all that talking, and then ran. was like, I'm out. All of that all of that, that y'all saying? No, hold on, Sam. No, no. All of that that y'all saying, the HOK got the top debaters. Chris is rocking number two. No, no. Chris will yeah. bump all of y'all ass in here. That's why no, y'all making excuses. No, you don't want to get in the I ring. I, I, hey, I get it. I get it. Hold on, Sai. I get hey, it. Don't, Sai, I get don't, what y'all saying about the brother. Don't make me do get the Get your ass in the goddamn hold ring. On. Simple hold as on. that, man. Hold on. That's don't all we talking about. Don't make me do the guard. Stop crying. Stop making excuses. On, listen. Get that ass in the listen. ring with Chris Harris. Hold Simple on. as that. Don't make me do the Garfield and talk about all your champions that, that, was, that was saying Chris got his butt kicked even before he left. Don't make me start calling them out. Right, so y'all, y'all, what I'm saying is different. I'm not saying the brother can't debate. I'm saying you're not helping him as a man. Chris needs to humble himself as a man. On Chris's channel, y'all will see Pastor Bennett on like five different videos. You won't find one video from Pastor Bennett talking about Chris Harris. It's not what I do. All of your pastor, my, me being a pastor is not even in question with that that brother. What I'm trying to say is you can't come on live. And tell Garfield he known for running when that's what you known for. The only thing Chris got is he got the help of Sonetta. You can't come on live and say, we know you for running. That's what we know Chris for. The only person who helps him is Sonetta. And what I'm saying is hum that man needs to work on his humility. That's all I'm saying. Humility. And, and for the record, family, I was prepared to debate that day from 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Yes, he was. I agree. No, I feel well. I was I was just I was I was Everybody outside of HOK know Chris. Hold on. Chris is not Chris is not known for running. He just he just couldn't do this debate with you, brother Pastor, wow. one time on my platform. Now I can see if it was how many times has Garfield? How many, was times has Garfield? how many times has Garfield not did a debate that you set him up for? Garfield always did a debate. Thank you. So my point is, a man who just let, ran from a debate called somebody out who you say has always stepped up and did the debate. That means he's not humble, but he's in your height. And what I'm saying is. Sonetta, I was here way before Chris. I ain't, I've debated Jabari, Tazariak, and anybody else. I'm That's not saying fact. that. I'm not talking about whether I won or not. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is from a principle state of you're not, you trying to build someone that you should be helping. 
Chris was on the his own channel telling about Garfield. Look, if Garfield's lying about his uncle passing, then shame on Garfield. But that ain't for no man to question. That ain't for no man to question. Well, well, well my man Quanah said Garfield ran from Neftali. So when did that happen? I don't know. I'm just saying you need to help the brother. You need to help the brother. You are responsible and you need to help him. I knew that would get Garfield hot. That's why. Hold on, Pastor Ben. Sonetta, please stop saying that Chris Harris has not ran from debate. Chris Harris ran from from two debates. I don't got nothing to do with none of that. I'm talking about on my platform. I'm on my platform, no, I'm still talking though. On my platform, Brother. Chris Harris has something no, seriously you, going on, no, and I understand. And he came no, out like a man, no, no, and he admitted no, what was going on. Now I could see sir. if it was the ongoing thing, then I would say, bro. "Damn, y'all right." Bro. But no, it never happened bro. again. And bro. that's the I'm, Negro. I'm that's the motherfucker I want in the Brother. ring. Hold on. I'm but he keep though. running. He's I'm running from everybody. I'm this brother right brother. here, the man who I called the mighty Hebrew. I'm Why y'all haven't seen him in the ring? Because he's making up excuses. Oh, I'm over here in Africa. I'm doing this work. I'm doing that. I'm doing this as though he the only one doing work. No, brother. Get your ass in the ring. Stand on your foundation and put it up. Put it up against yep. the best of the best. Simple as that, yeah. man. Oh, hold on, Hebrew. Hold, hold on, on, Hebrew. I'm saying. Hold on, mighty Hebrew. <laughs> hold on, brother. Are you uh, like Sonetta, uh, Chris Harris ran in the middle of two debates from SVDL. I don't give a damn what you think about SVDL. He had a history of running before he came here. So don't tell that lie again that he has never ran except for that one time. And Yara can back me up. Am I telling the truth, Yara? Yes or no? I ain't got nothing to do with I'm none of that over there. I'm, I'm talking about over here. I'll meet you, Mike, Yara. Yes or no? I'm talking about over here, bro. Yara, am I telling the truth, brother? Yes or no, Yara? Man, Yara said leave him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be well, Anyway, y'all can go check out. Talk to uh, Solar Mind. And, and, nah, we ain't no, no, no. Don't come on, man. We ain't doing that no, bullshit, bullshit, brother. Don't call that that garbage. Don't call that garbage out over here, bro. So, Sonetta, I'm, on, I'm man. Just, Stop, I, I gotta man. go. I gotta go, Sonetta. I'm just. Nobody gonna check out that trash. I'm just telling bullshit. you, the people you, the people you good garbage. enough, they looking bad. They on the phone during debates. They putting up eat up, Sonetta. You got work to do. You got work to do. Now stop giving these people big heads before they humble themselves because he ain't ready. Don't nobody want to debate him no more. Quite not scared to get in the ring. I agree with um, that. The mighty Hebrew yeah. scared to get in the ring. Why y'all didn't see these guys? How come y'all never seen them? At least Neftali, the champion of of um of um folk, she get in the ring with anybody. I'm so saying, I give her you, man you, props and respect you, for you, that. Not, stop not yes. Stop. Stop. Stop, please, man. Don't insult my intelligence like that. I'm going to give you a quotation what Dr. John Amber Clark said. I don't need to bait my equals. All others I, I, okay. I don't know. I know. Can, that. I, can, I, can I finish? That's can old, I brother. Finish? That's running. Can I finish? Can I finish? Go ahead, finish, brother. I, listen, I'm a very... I observe people. I observe their movements. I observe their character. And every time that brother is debating, he disrespects highly people's beliefs, their standards, they morals. I will not, in the position that I'm in, sit amongst those that have a high disdain and disrespect towards my people and my culture and what I stand for. And when you say everybody's doing work, I'm not concerned right now with everybody. I'm concerned about the position that I'm playing, being a representative of the late Prince Alciel. It's a way that I have to move. I'm under a leadership. You can sit up here and shake your head, but you know this is the truth. You can't, you can't keep putting everybody in the same category and in the same position. That's like, that's like you saying, it, 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 it kills me, right? That's like you saying, uh, Dr. Cosriel getting the ring with Chris Harris. Like, come on, I got 32 years of working. You, you, you got to stop disrespecting people like that. This, that's this the right problem here, that, Hebrew. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I'm, I'm listening to everybody. Go ahead, brother. Go I'm ahead. saying, I told you who I wanted to debate. I said, I'll debate somebody like a Jabari. Why? Because everybody wants Jabari. Jabari. I don't want to keep doing Jabari, can I, brother. Can I, can I finish? Go ahead, finish, finish, brother. What I'm saying is, put somebody in a ring with me 
that has ground footwork. I tell you what, person, if you oh, can take down you. Chris, I'll let put me, you up against Jabari finish. next. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid, man. I'm not a kid, bro. There's no what kids I'm up here, brother. What are you talking about? Listen, he's a kid to me. He's not on my level. He, he don't it. have the work ethic Prove in it. it. What? Prove it. I'm done, man. If you don't know what I'm saying, then I'm done. I'm yeah, talking about the monumental work. I'm, oh, right, gee, hold this, on for one second. Not, I know I'm going to tap in for you. I don't even want you to have to keep doing. It. Hold on, yeah, hold I on, yeah. Hold I, I on. just feel, I just feel as though this is you're disrespecting me when you bring somebody to me like that. It's like disrespect because I got too much work in to sit back and debate somebody that don't have no work in our community. That's stupid. That's my point. But go ahead, anonymous. I'm just tired. No, hold of going on. Back this is what gets me. This I don't is what gets me. Nobody. All right, I mighty Hebrew. From nobody. Mighty Hebrew, I heard so you. This is what gets debate. me, mighty Hebrew. I'm not going to. Hold on, hold on. The brother came in. If this is my time, let the brother say what he's going to say, and then you say what you say. What you All say, right, This is what Hebrew? I'm saying, brother. Hold on. This is what I'm saying with you, mighty Hebrew. It kills me to hear a Hebrew Israelite get up here and say anybody is disrespectful towards their religion or their belief. You know why? Because that's all y'all do is disrespect the next man's belief. If I this, never if disrespect he's not, anybody. No, stop, brother. Now, you just said, let me let you speak. Though. You just no, said, let me let you speak, brother. So you got to stop, man. Have some decorum, brother. Have some discipline. Ask the most high to bless you with discipline right now. And then I'll give you back the floor. So first of all, it kills me to hear a Hebrew Israelite talk about anything about respecting somebody's belief or religion because y'all dog minister farrakhan i'm not saying you y'all dog martin luther king y'all dog anybody that's not an israelite and even if it's not you uh, mighty hebrew you've been on platforms with israel who've been doing it and you are throwing your lads you're going brother stop y'all gotta stop the goddamn bottom line, you motherfuckers are scared of Chris Harris and you making up all kind of excuses. You know Yo, he's that Chris Harris, he's you know that level. Chris Harris Stop right me. now, he got that uppercut that's knocking y'all niggas out and y'all afraid of that. And so you making every goddamn excuse on why you don't want to debate this man. Simple as that. If he's, he's, not, on if, my level, if he's man. not on your level, then he's prove it to level. the world. Prove it to the people. Put another notch on your belt, mighty Hebrew. I don't Put need to. I'm a legend. Come on, man. I'm a fucking scared. legend. Y'all scared I'm a of this, brother. I'm a legend. I'm Damn. a legend. I'm known all over the world. Yes, Putting you are a legend. And yes, you are No, a what I'm saying is, stop mighty disrespecting Hebrew. me. Oh, let me just say this real quick, Garfield. Stop disrespecting me, man. You're going to bring up Farrakhan. I know Farrakhan personally. I, I didn't say you. I didn't say you, brother. I didn't say you. I am a part of the African Hebrew Israelites of Jerusalem. Stop comparing me to other Israelite sects. I don't run from nobody. What I'm saying is put me in the ring with somebody that have ground footwork in our communities. Give it something that's worth the while. Prove it. First prove it all, by getting past all, Chris Harris. No, no, no. I'm that's not a fucking do. kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. So stop it. You come to me about the most high. I'm the most high. This is what I'm saying. You're coming to me with things that I don't even acknowledge the way average Hebrews even did. He wouldn't even know how to deal with me. So what I'm saying to you, brother, I don't have to play your game. Respect me as a true leader in our community, man. I'm over here in Africa building, and you're telling me to debate some kid? Like, come on, man. You're disrespecting me, man. That's the problem that I have with you. Get me somebody that – the reason why I respect Jabari – because he goes back and forth to Egypt. He has peer review. He has work. He has researching. Garfield wrote a book. I'm talking about people that's putting in our community. This man is not doing nothing in our community but bashing everybody. So I'm not trying to hear that. You keep saying, go past him. Every person you put in front of me, I smash. Just like you try to make that false interpretation of that sorry suit in Seggy debate. I smashed all three of y'all at the same time. You, Natural Tahuti, and saw saw suit and Seggy. Y'all couldn't fuck with me. Then you tried to put Polite in front of me, and he got aired out. I destroyed Young Pharaoh on talk with the type. Every time y'all put somebody in front of me, I destroy him. And then now you're going to try to put a kid in front of me, man? 
That's a disrespect to me, man. That's the problem that I'm having. Like anonymous Hebrew, Hebrew wanted to say something. So other than Jabari, who else would you consider other than Jabari? Listen, the only ones that I see that's real scholars is brothers like Jabari, Smash Rockwell, cats like that. But when you start talking about, when you start talking about people that haven't put no work in our communities, that's just studying just the rebuttal. I'm talking about where's the ground footwork that that we can say, yo, this guy put in some major work in the community, and it's this not social media hype tripping. That's when I look at when I look at people, these are real scholars to me. Zion Lex, Jabari. What about Pastor Dr. Bennett? Reggie? Pastor Benny. Look, Pastor Bennett got working. He run the congregation. He feed the right. homeless. He's doing things in the community. You want me to debate somebody that the only thing we know on him is on social media. That's it. You're disrespecting me, man. You shouldn't even come to me with that. You should honor me. I'm the first House of Consciousness member that repatriated back to Africa. You're supposed to respect that and let me build. You wouldn't call Prince Yosef to debate any of them. And I'm in the same organization as a prince with them. Why wouldn't you? You don't call him to do debate, but you call me to debate a kid. Come on. And I brought these people to you. That's a grown you man. Say, Why you keep calling Chris a kid, man? I'm saying a kid in the sense of experience. My background is totally different from him. The things that I do and acknowledge and build upon, we're not building on the same thing, man. But Anonymous Hebrew, I wanted to congratulate. I heard what you was doing earlier. You wanted to say something. This yeah. one of my young brothers, as a matter of fact, I know, that's one of my students right there. Let my student, Anonymous Hebrew, debate Chris Harris. If Chris Harris can beat him, then Yeah, well, that's we're going to get that in. Yeah, yeah. I and got that, students so that is going to be my point. This is going to be my point. And shout out to the elder. And, and I wanted to do this because it, it was heated at first. So first off, shout out to my elder that's in my organization hey, that we build. Hey, don't don't mean to cut you, bro. I'm going to jump off. Elder, elder all right. All right, um, Garfield. All right. Hey, hey Garfield. Hey, Garfield. Garfield. Yes, sir. Hey Garfield, you know what it is. Like I want to have, I want to have a debate with you. Nothing against Chris. I like, I you know, I'm, I'm gonna talk hey, about this in a second. But hey, you Facebook. know, I really, I hey, really rather have that conversation with you. Yeah, yeah all right, I got you. Definitely. And into and, and got you, got you. And to whoever it is in the in the chat, I don't normally do the chat. I just happen to be looking. I ain't never been on Paradigm Shift TV, so keep my name out your mouth. Um, I, I'm gonna say this first off. Peace to my elder, Elder Yara. Peace to uh, Brother Black Jesus Minister. I didn't get to say that when I first came on because it, it was it was kind of lit. Okay, go ahead and do it. And then second, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, shout out to my big brother, Mighty Hebrew. Uh, I've learned so much from this brother. We spent so much personal time. Uh, I will say this, Si, and you know, we didn't have this conversation a little bit. I know you got to do what you got to do to prep and, and set debates, but I agree with him on this one, right? Now, like I said, I'll debate Chris. We've already got it in before. I'll debate him. But I agree with Pastor Bennett. I agree with all these brothers. Like, he does a lot of disrespectful stuff. That's been our, that's been our MO and interaction. Like what? Years. Like what? Like what? Give me an example of like, a lot of disrespectful stuff. He'll he'll pretend to be your friend and then go live, use your personal information against you, start talking about you, start making up things about you. He'll He'll misuse a narrative against you. These type of things. Now, I don't want to be this person, right? But since you asked me, I, I mean, I, I got history. I got years dealing with Chris. I got more years than all these brothers combined dealing with Chris, right? From debate talk for you to SVDL to here. So if you really want to get into it, I can get into it. I'm trying not to disrespect him though, right? But I want to make this point. You wouldn't do this for anybody else. I've been watching you for years, right? That's like me just pulling up, asking to have a debate with Jabari. Now, truth be told, as it pertains to the Exodus, I can count on my hand, on my on one hand, how many people are prepared to have a discussion on the Exodus with me in this community. That's just the facts. It's not me being big headed. It's just the facts of how much study I've put into this, right? And I think I've proven that today just by off, off the cuff. No sources, just off the top of my head, right? But you want to take somebody like Mighty Hebrew, who is really overseas building, and try to force him to deal this, and then we just running away like Cap even say, Captain Tazariak will say, Chris got to do a lot more proving, 
right? And I understand if you say I got to prove because this is my first day here. So if you tell me I got to debate, Chris, that's why I was asking. If you're saying I got to debate him, I'll debate him. It ain't, it, I don't, it, anybody can get it from me, right? But I, I, I would ask you, like, to respect some of our elders, like, the same way we would respect Jabari. If I if I jumped in today and demanded to, to debate Jabari, even though I've proven that I got some type of scholastic acumen, you would laugh at me right now because you ain't even seen how I get down. You know how mighty he will get get down to sit here and try to paint a narrative that he has to debate Chris because you're trying to get debates from Chris from me, from somebody who's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm less than 20 years in. Right. I'm moving up on double digits, but I'm less than 20 years in for me. I, I don't think they I don't even think he should have to to to, you know, to say that Cap Tazariak don't have to say that Cap Tazariak don't have to explain why he ain't debating Chris. Right. I don't think Mighty Hebrew should either because they've been here much longer than a lot of us. I think Pastor Bennett proven that he's ready to get it in, right? I, so he, Chris calling out Garfield, either make Garfield get it in with him or find somebody else. Now, I'm saying if you're trying to make it me, I'm going to beat him up for you, right? But the point is, I, I would like to see, and I said this to you, so I'm not saying nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never said there ain't nothing against you. I would like to see some of our elders respected the same way that comedic elders are respected. Right. And that's all I'm saying. And I get it. There are disrespectful Hebrews out there. But to say all of us represent that vein of thought when we're clearly trying to show that there is a new paradigm, there is a paradigm shift going on in the Israelite community. Right. Where we are actually showing that we can have scholastic conversations. The goalpost continues to move and that's fine. We move with it. But I, I would like to see people like Captain Zarya, Mighty Hebrew, even Elder Yara in some respects right at this point. Uh, after he do what you know you're gonna put him through whatever he gotta do like these brothers they, they put in work right i think that i put in work but i gotta do some more right give him the, give mighty hebrew the same respect that's all i'm saying like he's proven himself and i i just don't think that it's fair to try to force him to debate chris uh when chris got a lot of stuff that he got to work on and i know that's gonna make chris do a show and talk crazy about me it is what it is but yeah um, but wait, wait but that's what but that's what Sado understands so I, so I gotta go listen to the show. Sai, so you think I'm wicked? Wicked? No, hell no. Okay, your boy is on a show calling me wicked. Ben. See, that's the difference. What I'm saying is I don't care. I would I when when he was talking all this stuff before I even debate him, calling out my name. I debated him, then he run. My point is I'm the y'all getting on Chris. Y'all need to leave Chris alone. Sane is the person y'all need to get. Sa building up his man because Sa, Sa got confidence in him. But what we telling you, Sa, is don't nobody want to debate Chris. No, nah, here's the thing, man. He's not humble. Just, like, just like just like that. The oh, thing, it was something. Hold the on, reason, Sana, Just like that information. Just like that on, information. The reason, Chris. the reason, the reason why I'm pushing it is because I don't hear nothing tangible. Mm -hmm. Y'all not giving me good facts on why y'all running from this brother. Y'all coming up with all kind of pussy shit to you me. You can't be talking about me. Not you, you. Not you. I'm just saying. Not you. Y'all come up with all kind of pussy shit to me. Oh, he said this. Oh, he went back on his computer and he said that. And he's not respectful. All that pussy shit to me. To me. Right, hold on. I'm saying, hold on. no, let me finish. All that shit is pussy shit to me. Because I have heard y'all say, when I say y'all, I'm not talking about you individually, personally. Mm -hmm. I have heard people say worse shit than that. And the reason Chris turned up like that is because I see niggas talk to him like that. And niggas talk about him like that. Like, look at what y'all doing. Look at how Captain came out on him because of that one debate, called him all kind of names. And I hear people say that shit about him. So Chris, when he fires back, he come back stronger and y'all can't take it. This why is you the make, toughest. Why you ain't make this Cap debate? Is, this let me, is let me, the let me, let me ask you why, why, why you ain't make, why you ain't make cap? Why you ain't make, why? And the only one scared of what? Why? Scared of what? Is the brother scared of what? Not even Hebrew. Hebrew. Everybody else making want, all kinds of excuses. I want to, I want to, no, he's no. Weak, if he that's can't like do it, that's then like me trying to debate. No, that's be like me trying to, listen, that's like me trying to debate, Bob. Simple as that. And then we can move on. Chris but, yo, made the yo, show improved, man. I got enough but if y'all don't, don't want him, I got to go got and enough. get somebody else. I got to hold up. Sa I got to go get somebody else who want to take him on. 
and um, I got anonymous people. He, he don't mind. It's he, about he don't it's about it's about respect. I got students all over the world that's a part of the mighty Hebrew University. We move on from when, that. No, I just want to say I just want to say this one thing. When Chris came on and did a PowerPoint presentation talking about Abraham and all of them going back to the Indus Valley, right? And you was you was applauding. Oh, that's deep. But I've been teaching that for years before anybody in the black conscious community. I've been, that's my narrative. I've been teaching that. I've been teaching about when Chris said, well, you know, the pyramids go back 500,000 years ago. He said that on your show, but they're not giving the backdrop when they're talking about 410,000 BCE, when the Tavakli's learned it from the Romalhos who taught the pre totex They don't have the background information of that. My whole point that I'm saying is, it's funny that you give accolade to people that say these things that's on your side, but you're not giving accolade from the person that it originally came from. Now let's keep it a buck. Don't nobody even know what he just said. No, no, hold up, hold up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's keep it a buck. No, let's keep it. Hold up, hold up. I'm done. Hold up. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Don't none of y'all. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Let's keep it a buck. But let's keep it a buck. Don't nobody even know what Mighty Hebrew just said just now. While y'all sitting there talking, don't nobody even know how to respond to what he said just now. Chris got shot. That's all I'm worried they about. They don't know right now. nothing about. They don't know nothing about the antediluvian history. They don't know nothing about Patala. You know what? Hold on. Just let me like say. Let I me not say them, nobody. Just like I there said. Just that like do. I told. Yeah. Just like I told him that the Indus Valley was older than Kemet, right? And yesterday, Garfield put up a, a, a presentation piece where he even admitted and was showing that the Harappari and pre Harappari or the Hawk or the Hafra civilization go back 9,500 BCE. And then I peeped that little joint that you did, Sadneta, when you were saying uh, 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 um, Sumer versus the Nile Valley. It should have been the Tigris Euphrates Valley civilization versus the Nile Valley civilization. See, I'm a real scholar, man. See, certain, I'm very in depth in what I see, and I'm not gonna waste my time playing these games because if you're talking about Kemet, you only talking about, uh, if, if you're talking about what, Taseti, right? In that area. But when you talk about the Nile Valley civilization, which is 4,200 miles long, dropping in Lake Victoria, talking about Uganda all the way down to Northern Egypt, the things that they do in Uganda, they wasn't doing it what we know as Egypt today. There were different pantheonites and different school of thoughts, and we can see it today. I'm on the ground. Why would I debate somebody that's not on the ground, that haven't traveled? I didn't travel through our different tribes, through our East Africa. Am I lying, Anonymous Hebrew? Am I lying, Elder Yorah? Isn't in my interviews nah. all on Facebook where I'm interviewing different tribes? Try hey, look, let, me, let me take it. Let me Why take it would one I step sit up further. here and argue with this? Let me take dude. one step first. This is ridiculous. We're in the process of doing, we, we're able to negotiate business deals through this brother in other countries. Like that's how that's how deep this goes. So I, and I don't want to get into that, right? But I would much rather see Mighty Hebrew versus Jabari than Mighty yeah. Hebrew versus Chris. It's not Mighty Hebrew's fault that you putting other people up against Jabari and now you don't want to overwork Jabari. If you're gonna force Mighty Hebrew to, to get into the ring, put him in with Jabari. They're going to have an amazing conversation. And you know that. Right. No, I don't know and that. Jabari argument, will smash him. Argument, Jabari will smash my Mighty argument, Hebrew. My argument, my argument is that Jabari the will make Mighty Hebrew look like a child, a no, baby. Listen, listen. What I'm telling you is that I'm saying like that. He said, listen, Chris is a prove baby. Prove it. Prove it. He's saying Chris is a baby. My, Jabari will my make debate. Mighty Hebrew look listen like a to baby debate. and a listen goddamn to my debate. Come on. Listen, listen. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying that the Indus Valley is older than Kemet. That's what I'm saying. Disprove it. Disprove that Kemet is older than... I'm telling you that the Nasu are extension of the Nagas or the serpent people that came by the way of pre-dynastic Kemet. That's what I'm saying. Disprove what I'm saying. Disprove it. Go get your champ. If you're going to get somebody to debate me, get somebody like that. Go get your body to prove that Kemet is older than than pre Harappan civilization, Hakra. Prove it. Prove it. Hey. Hakra go back 13,300 BCE. I can prove it right now. I can prove it right now. As a matter of fact, I can put it in anonymous Hebrews inbox and you can share the screen. I will body, dude, man. 
Who you think you talking to? I ain't on my laptop. I ain't on my laptop. Who you think you talking to? You do know, you do know that scholars are admitting that the Indos Valley is older than Kemet. And when you talk about the Sumerians, because I know this, nobody never let says who the Sumerians person, is. Oh, let me just say this one more thing and I'm done. Let me tell y'all who the Sumerians is. The Sumerians are ex brahmin refugees that was running from the Ramayanian war. When you go into what is known as bitter sheep or Genesis chapter 11, and they talk about we came from the East, it used the Hebrew word Kadim, which means India. We came from the Indos Valley and formed what we know as Sumer. The original Aryans were black. There was never an Aryan invasion. That was created in 1900 by Max Muller. That shit is bullshit. That's why I'm saying the you three don't sons. know Name me. the three sons of Noah. You can't come to me with that. The three Just sons name of Noah it, brother. Seven. Just answer the question. I, 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 don't have, I don't have time for your See, game. look at you. You because, never got time because for shit. Because you know I'm going to cut your because, ass. You know you I got shit that's okay, going to get you. I'm the little guy. Okay, me and, you. and if okay, you okay, can't deal with the little guy. Shem Ham and Jephthah. Shem Ham and Jephthah. Were they real? Were they Were they real people or is that mythology? And they were real. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because yesterday you asked, um, <laughs> was asked by Black Jesus Ministries. You can go right now to the Chinese Chronicles. I'm gonna use them as example. They have a story of Shem Ham. Go type it up right now. Anonymous Hebrew. Tell them to share your screen and type in the Chronicles of the Chinese Noah. And they have the story of Shem Ham and Japheth, bro. Oh, boy. All right. We all have all right. we I'm have people. On hold on. Let, let me and let me say this to you. You know that term y'all keep using eponymous and y'all trying to make it seem like that's right. a fictitious ancestor. Right. Right. You can tell that y'all don't even know etymology right. because if you knew right. etymology, y'all right. would let stop me get, saying, Let me get the a, Muslim in here to kill all of this hold, shit. Hold, hold on, let me finish. Let me get my Muslim don't, brother up uh, in here to on, kill on. all this nonsense. Even in Islam, even in Islam, if you start talking about the Quran and the Hadith, they know that Shem Ham and Jephthah existed. So what are you talking about? Even if you go get the mook me, he gonna confirm what I'm saying. So what are you talking about? So so don't do that. My whole point is this to you, Sarnetta. Let's get back to that eponymous ancestor that your scholars keep misrepresenting, saying that it's a fictitious person. No, eponymous, uh, eponymous means it's a real person whose name is labeled on a people, place, or that's thing. That's what I for, said. And for I said instance, Sadneta, you have children, hey, brother, right? Brother, 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 Hebrew, let me ask you a question, brother, on the real side. Uh, no, this, this, no, this, no, this, not, no, this, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, this, 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 excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, brother, my bad, my bad, Poppy. It's all good. Uh, it's me, good, please, Aki. Listen to me, beloved, Um, and shout okay. out to my Sadneta, man. I didn't greet you, man. Shout out to you, man. Please, brother. May you be blessed, your family be blessed, and everybody on this, everybody that's on the platform. Beloved, uh, brother, 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 mighty Hebrew. So understand I'm listening to you, and I respect you, and I followed you. I followed you a long time, man. You don't know me, but I followed you a long time, man, listening to you. I always respected how you deliver your message and whatnot and your information. After listening to you just now, and you were speaking about as far as like in antiquity dealing with, you know, the Indians and us being the descendants of the Indians, basically coming mm -hmm. from the East. No, no, no. Basically, I didn't say I was we used descendants from the Indians. I didn't no, say that now. No, what I'm saying, you said that in the scripture, what was it? Chapter 11. Are oh, you talking about, you talking about better sheet where it says that we yeah. came from the East, which today is called India. The original name was Tamanadu. Yes. Now, Okay. And you said and you and you were speaking about like nine thousand. What you said, nine thousand years or something like that. What? Well, it, it's older civilizations than that, but I'm talking about pre Harappan civilization. Pre Harappan so civilization. My, 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 my point is to you is this: How do you like? How do you like reconcile like understanding the creation of man and the time stat that they put on the creation of man in the scriptures. I like that. I like, that. I like you, that question. How do you like, how do you like, how do you like to you as an individual that study that's, mm -hmm. and it sounds like you eclectic that you take from many sources and you try to put it right. together the best way you can. And it's all right. But how do you like reconcile that? Do you claim truth and totality? Like, or so how basically, you asking me how yeah, do how I do how do yeah, I how time do do create how yeah. do I time creation at the mighty Hebrew University? I developed something called Hebrew Cosmogenesis. 
and Hebrew anthropogenesis. In Hebrew cosmogenesis, what we teach is that the original Hebrews are from the Indos Valley, and how you're able to understand the better sheet is through something called the Yuga Cycles. And when you look at what is known as Yawam or Yom Day, that is what is known as an abstract understanding by Greco-Roman thought. The Hebrew is a language of function. So what we do is we take the original Sinaitic pictorial Hebrew manuscripts. And what we do, for instance, the word Yom, it is it's three letters. You have a Yod, you have a Wa, and you have a Mim. The Yod is symbolic to an outstretched arm. The Wa is symbolic to a nail or a peg pressing on something. Then you have the Mim which is water wave. So when you put it together, it means that which containeth life. So when you look at Genesis, when they say the first day, the second day, in the original Hebrew, it's not defined in a literal 24 hours, seven day a week, but it's defined different epochs as a time. Within them epochs is we existed, but we were embodied or encased to be adaptable to that condition. So what I'm saying at the Mighty Hebrew University, by the way, the Yuga cycles, we go back 311 trillion, 40 billion years. Even the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the original man has no beginning and ending. We the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, God of the universe. So if we don't have no beginning, we can't conceptualize the ending. We only can determine the better sheet by the way of cycles and seasons. The 6,000 year understanding go by the way of ushers. He's from out of Ireland. Look, I'm coming off, off the dome. And Sai Nega trying to get this kid to debate me. Come yeah, on, Chase, man. Chase, 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 stay focused this, for this, one this, second. Because I want to yeah, get this yeah. out of you while, while you're here. Check it out. So, okay. so in understanding that, like, as I'm listening to you, in understanding that, when you look at Better Sheep, you look at Genesis, and you look at the Torah, mm -hmm. and you, you look at these stories, mm -hmm. um, it appears that your interpretation is a little broader. It's a lot it broader, a lot it broader is. than than, the, it, than, 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 than than many others. Because I'll be on club and whatnot, and I'll be listening to, and I sit in a whole lot of uh, Hebrew Israelite rooms and whatnot, and I listen. I've heard, I've, I've heard all the stories, damn near, of the debates and all that. The thing is, is like what you're saying now. The interpretation that you that you do have, is it based on like? It's based on Eastern Hebrew thought. It's mm. based on Eastern Hebrew thought. The, okay. the, the, the interpretation that most Israelites have is based on a Western Christian interpretation because most Israelites in the States came from a religious background. So when they jump into the Bible, they're reading the Bible based on how it was dictated by the slave master. When you come to the East and you start sitting amongst the ranks of those seers and scholars and sages, it's a whole nother different thought. Like, here's a prime mm, example. Mm. We've been under the impression that the Hebrews come from out of Mesopotamia from a place called Or. Now, the reason why a lot of the black conscious community can attack that because the Or of Mesopotamia developed between the seventh and ninth century BCE. But what they don't tell us is that there was an older ore in the Indos Valley going back 8,000 BCE. What I'm saying is that when you read the book of Joshua and they talk about how we was worshiping the powers over the great river, people interpret that as being the Tigris and Euphrates. I'm saying, no, that's the Ganges River. I'm, when you go into the Piranhas, when you go into the Vag Veda, when you go into the Ramayana records, you will see that Abraham was an ex brahmin that came from out of the whole part of civilization <laughs> and migrated into what we know as Sumer and then later on into Canaan land and Egypt and all these different areas. All right, what hold I'm up for one minute, that, Mighty Hebrew. I'm going to let you continue. I just have a quick announcement. For those of y'all who wish to see, um, you know, HOK, we got two streams going. We got Unk and uh, Reggie over there on the HOK, and the title is The Rebuttal of Sekou, The Africans Have No Power. If y'all wish to go and check that out, go and check that out. They going in over there as well. They going in over there. They bringing up Sekou name. So they can talk that talk, but when it's time to debate, say cool, watch how both of them run and scatter. And I'm speaking of say none cool other than Unk joke. and Reggie. Unk and Reggie talking, but when it's time to get in the <laughs> ring with them, they're going to run. So go and say check cool. that out if y'all want to do that. We got two channels rocking right now. Go ahead. Um, I like say cool. Hebrew. This way I want Sa Nega to do right now. Let's play a game. Put me in the hot seat right now. I'm going to show you what it's about, man. 
Put me no, in the I ain't gonna do that to you. I love you, bro. No, don't do it I hate to me. You, man. Do it to me. Yo, I will bomb anybody you bring. Hey, quick, because quick. you think you keep thinking, you keep thinking that every time you get bro, you I, see what I, did to, man. I know who you, you are. You see what I did to polite? Did you see what I did to oh, polite? Oh, kicked your ass, brother. Now we ain't gonna goddamn lie. Polite was a damn lie. No, he did not. No, he did not. Like gave Even you two better guys, brother. Listen, Stop it, man. The poll said 79% me, 21% him. <laughs> listen, this guy, this guy gonna say, listen to listen to his Hold argument. Hold on, is that what oh. the poll said? Yeah. Where the poll yes, said? Sir. <laughs> yes. Don't believe that, man. Don't believe what? that. Tell him to show it. No, you, uh, you want me to show it right now? You yeah, want me to show, show it right, right now? now. Hold show on. It. Hold on. Let me go get it. Who can I who can I put in the inbox? Who can I inbox the, the poll? Where's the poll right taking there. place at? I don't, I don't, I'm not on my laptop. Listen, right it was like one of them world renowned polls that they put together. Where is the polls being taken you know place at? Yo, the on the right Hebrew right. channel? No, it was just a, it was one of them, them Kemet versus the Hebrews. It was like one of them joints. And the reason why I saw Nether know this to be true, because when he heard about the poll, and he heard about with man, don't make me call polite up right now, on. nigga. <laughs> I don't care who you call. I don't care who you call. Listen, the ball, uh, the ball kind sued telling I beat the debate, right? So, and that there was a poll up. So Sineta tried to create a, a, a poll on his show because the poll was saying that polite got crushed. Polite gonna say, this is dumb. He's gonna try to use a neuter now. To talk about God when the Hebrew language is defining masculine and feminine principles. You can't do that, man. Any real linguist knows that. And that's the thing that I'm saying, Sadneta. You be saying that these guys be winning, even Smash Rockwell, he knows how languages function. And he will even tell you, you can't take the English interpretation of God and apply that to Shemitic languages. That have both masculine and feminine. Polite gave you two black basis. guys, brother. Polite no, gave you two black not. guys. And oh, you ran did. from him. No, I didn't. I destroyed him. I destroyed him. Even the comedic, most of the comedic dudes even said, yo, you, you destroyed him, man. Man, like, don't, he make was me, don't make me get polite. Go bro. get him. Go <laughs> get him. Go get him. Go get him. How you gonna say, how you gonna say that you don't believe in God, but then you turn around and see the black woman is God? This is dumb. And he my was saying he don't believe in your God and the Bible. Listen, no, no, no. That's where I was saying. I said, I don't believe in God, but I acknowledge Yahweh. Yahweh and, and God is two different social constructs. You cannot take an Eastern understanding of Yah and apply it to the generic term All right. God. All right, hold up Just for like one minute. God. Hold up for one minute. Polite. Do you hear this shit, Polite? <laughs> Polite, do you hear yeah, this shit? Yeah, he he wild. Yeah, I ain't wild. You got smashed. He's talking about he up wilding. here talking about he beats listen, you. Polite, listen, remember I how we were trying to get him? Hold up, mighty Hebrew. Polite, remember yeah, he, we were trying to get you, out. and he didn't want no smoke. Who bailed out? I ain't never bailed. No, no, sir. You know what I did that y'all don't know? I recorded the conversations. My wife recorded the conversation because I knew you was going to do this foolishness, man. Oh, you was going to do this foolishness. Now, y'all originally called me about my understanding of God and Moses, but y'all couldn't fuck with me. I was already chopping y'all up on the phone. So then you tried to change the narrative. You tried to change the narrative. And when we was debating the situation, Polite thought all his questions were based on how he debates Israelites on the street corner. He never fucked with a Hebrew like me. He never fucked with a Hebrew like me. And I smash him when he come back. I All smash right. him. But like, we'll be back real that's soon. That's who you, well, well, that's what you need to do. You don't okay. disrespect the man who went to Africa and built. Remember, I'm the original OG Israelite of the House of Consciousness. You got the game fucked up. Just like you try to get <laughs> your little, just like you, I'm talking about this before polite. This before everybody that's sitting on this panel, which you call me the mic, what I tell the senator of New York, I told him I stump his fucking bones out. What you say? That's the mighty Hebrew. Who the first one that got you to go viral? The mighty Hebrew. So stop acting, don't act like 
you forgot who you talking to, side nigga. And you call him polite, ain't going to stop the fact that I'll buy you him. All that using big words. One thing about polite, and he's sharp, he'll keep talking to make you forget your original thought. But he had the right one. He couldn't do that to me. And then what I would do is break down everything he said and then rebuttal. I'm the only one that was bringing information. Just like when I sat on that couch, Segi, Tahuti, they weren't bringing information. Tahuti's going to say some pseudo shit. The word Torah go back to Ra and get like, are you dumb right. or something, hey, man? Polite. That's um, not real etymology. All right. All right. Hey, Polite, um, when will you be making your return? Do you know? Uh, we, I, I can wind it up with Mighty Hebrew next week. But uh, what we should do, too, we should replay the video. There you go. And, and let, the, and let the, the people, and let and the people weigh in. Listen, because that's what, what you do. Tomorrow. And that's what, what you do. Man, tomorrow. What what you replay. Replay. Why would it's that stupid? Replay it. No, replay it on the new Hold on, Mighty Hebrew. Hold on. Let them talk. Go ahead, that's that's what happened stupid. last time. That's I don't care. Last time. No, that's not what, what happened last time. Into. You think yeah. you slick. Hey, you're doing it now, mighty Hebrew. Hold on, man. Damn. Go ahead, Polite. Yeah, I know my brothers be liking the discipline in the Hebrew community. I actually like mighty Hebrew out a lot of them, though. I fuck with you, man. You know, it's still spooky, but you know, you you just more sharp than most of your brothers. You always but, talking about you know, you started, you started, spooky. Hey, you, you, when we watch that video over, I guarantee you we're going to find out a lot of spooky shit going on. I, it's going to be <laughs> it's gonna be ghosts and white sheets when we watch that video. You yeah. said a lot of spooky you shit. Are, you don't want to You, you, you got to let him admit. talk, Almighty Hebrew. You've been talking. Why can't we bottle with you? We having a discussion. No, just let him finish because he ain't going to be on long. He got to take okay. his business. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead, Polite. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. You know, I, but we'll let the video speak for itself, and then we'll probably take 12 hours to determine uh what you want the subject matter to be again, because it really doesn't matter for me what we make the subject matter. So long as you still believe in what you believe in, it's mm -hmm. a walk in the park. Okay. I would hope that you've grown since then and probably evolved even more so. No, he's I live in Africa. He's a Hebrew that moved in Africa. That's all. I live in, I live in Africa. Oh, okay. I'm an I'm a understudy of Prince ACL. I'm the man. And he know that. The reason why Sarnetta got a respect for, I'm the one introduced Sarnetta to them yes, Hebrew. All, so right, hey, brother, all right, man, let us know. Let us know when you think you're going to be hey. making your return back, though, bro. About I, when? I, I'm ready man. to speak for my brother, uh, okay. Mighty Hebrew. Man. Man, yeah, I got love for you. Matter of fact, um, you, you, got my you, you got my number. You got my number. You got my uh, I got to get it again, but I'm happy you in Africa, brother. I'm glad you out here with the brothers, man. All right, I'm peace. Peace, brother Polite. Peace. peace. All right. Yo. So well, that's you not put it, it on. No, you can't um, put it on side nugget. Let's do it on the neutral platform. Brother Polite because, Trial. Hold on, man. Brother Polite Trial supposed to be coming up in February, early February. And so um, Polite is real confident that um, everything is going to work itself out. And so, man, the only one praying on his demise is the Hebrew Israelites. And Stop so, doing that. Stop no, doing no, that. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. They are why, why can't you praying distinguish? on his demise but, but, because but let me polite ask you kicked something. a lot of y'all asses and y'all no, praying on his demise. He ain't never, he ain't never so, kicked my ass. He ain't never kicked my ass. Okay. So what I'm saying to you, let, let me ask you this, Sarnetta. Why don't you know how to distinguish? Why can't you say some Hebrews? Why do you always have to... To me, that's like propaganda. Well, let me answer because, that question. Let no, no, I'm just you. saying, I'm not finished. I'm not finished my Go statement. Ahead. I'm asking you, why, if you know... Let me that answer you that have first Hebrews question. Don't not, go nowhere. Okay. Stop, stop. Okay, go ahead. The reason ahead. is because you make no distinction between Israelites who believe in Christ the Old Testament and the New Testament. And whenever we go up against a, a New Testament, your ass is right there. You jump in that ring just because he's an Israelite, you help him. You go up you know in why there, I you jump in the ring. You know why? So you if know you know why don't I jump make in the no, ring. If you, you don't if you don't make no distinction between the two, why do I got to? I'm I'm gonna fight to I'm gonna fight for Kimmy. I'm gonna just like you gonna fight for Israel. And guess what? It's never Personal brother, I love you, you know my Hebrew. But you know why? That, you know man. why I do it. I just you beat your ass it. when it comes to the no, information. You never, you never beat my Simple. ass. 
you never beat my ass, and you know you haven't. Just like all them questions you be asking. I love the the anonymous Hebrew. It's just that when we do battle on the knowledge, that's you know, like Magic and fucking um Isaiah Thomas, they love each other off the court, but when they get on that goddamn court. You already know what it is. Well, if listen, you know this, all the scholars when you get on the court, from Demona, when you get on the court, mighty Hebrew, <laughs> mighty Hebrew, when you get on that damn court, you always you say that. You understand always that. say that, and I always be okay. So if you reshow that, won't you show it on a neutral platform? Because naturally, you're gonna have more people. What on is your the side neutral platform? We gotta create one. We got to create one. You cannot show something on your platform where everybody automatically agrees with you. That's okay. dumb. That's okay. not real scholarship. All right, we can do that. That's the we problem that. that I have. When you say polite beat me, you're not even demonstrating how he beat me. Give me an example how he beat me. Just give me an example. Give me something that he said that he beat me in that discussion. I'll tell you Just what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the video again. No, no you should be able to say it. I know, but you should be able to say it. If polite a lot of dog me the, video. the way you say it, you should be able to say, just like you misconstrued that SETI debate, you know I beat SETI. You know I beat him. And you're going to sit up here just like you, just like I asked Tahuti. Do you speak Megunator? No. So what are you talking about? Hey, hey Shane, watch stupid. this. Do y'all do y'all think that the mighty Hebrew beat Seti when I played that old video, the clip? Do y'all think Seti got him, or do you think the mighty Hebrew got him? Just I keep it real, y'all. Him. I destroyed him. I destroyed. I'm the only one that had information. I was showing them about. Y'all didn't know nothing about no Israelites. The only thing y'all knew was about the Israelites on the street corners. Y'all ain't no shit about the moon. I'm the one that was telling you how Taneta Muhammad and them was over there with Ben Ami and Prince Asiel. I'm the one that was the first to tell y'all about the Igbos. I'm the one that was telling y'all about how the dynastic um, calculations was all 464 years. I presented that. I'm the one that was telling you that the Hebrews were Hindu theistic. I brought all that to y'all first. You didn't know shit about Hebrews. And back then we used to put things on boxes because I seen people in the audience talking about, oh, he using, uh, 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 he got stuff on cardboard boxes. Well, nah, you didn't even cut that out, Quinn. This is stupid. <laughs> My man I, was showing factual, I was showing factual information about the Hebrews all over Africa. Then I was showing the in. It, stone artifacts. Even said he was like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because at first said he was like, "With white man carved this up. But then when he looked at it, he couldn't say shit. He couldn't say shit. Mm-hmm. So why are you sitting up here? Listen, he gonna say, well, give us something flat. Show us the pyramid. You think you can eat a pyramid? I'm showing y'all if, if there's crime in our community, I was using the Mona as a blueprint to show that we way like years ahead of the game. Why y'all still talking about pyramids? We build it. We on a whole nother different, we building a civilization now. We We're can't right. keep talking about, we are you building a civilization? We in Ghana, we all over Africa. So how can you See, build something why, that already exists? You sound like Christopher no, no, Columbus right no, now. No, 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 no. That's me. This is what Prince Asiel built for us. This is what Ben Ami built for us. All we doing is continuing So you saying to Ghana is not civilized until y'all got there to I build civilization? Say, I you just said you building civilization. I, when I'm and I said, where are you doing it at? You're and missing, you said, in Ghana. You're, mis- in you're misunderstanding. In a- you're, mis- you're misunderstanding. Oh, now I misunderstand. When I'm saying, listen to me, bro. When I say build civilization, I'm talking about he breaks civilization. I'm saying we are beyond nationalism now because we're a nation. So now we're building civilization. Meaning when you come to Demona, you see the clothes we wear, the food we eat. We irrigate our own land. land. We wear wear Hebrew Israelite garments. We make our own clothes. That's you good. know That's this good. to be close. That's no, good. It's, it's bigger. Yeah. It's bigger. Than, we got our own schools. We got our own factories. We got our own police. We got our own everything, bro. Won't you go to Demona? Won't you go check it out? Prince Asiel been telling you that before he died. Nasi Yosef keep telling you. Why won't you? See, y'all don't want to do it because. Come on, come on, my Hebrew. Come on. Come to on, brother. change your whole. You, you know what the pyramids are? You know what the, the pyramids are? You know what the pyramids are? The what pyramids are is a cesspool 
for robbers that are thieving the pyramids. We don't have no control of that, and we can't eat off of that, but we eating off what we build. That's what I keep saying I want to debate about. I want to debate about footwork research. That Muslim brother right there, I watched that, deb that debate that he had last week, how y'all was trying to lure him in the debate, and, and it was a very good question he asked. He said, okay, so if I leave Islam, what do you have to offer me? That's the point. You telling us to put this book down, but this book helped us to shape the civilization that we have today. No black community has done that. And you have to commend that, side nigga. You got to stop lying to people, making it seem like all Hebrews do <laughs> is womanizers. They want to the street no, corner. I don't, I don't see that, that brother. I don't not say that, that, brother. Scream, man. Yes, you do, bro. I don't think, no, that's, that's not true, bro. On you. That's why I'm always on you. I don't make fuck, people think fuck, all Hebrews are women. I don't do media. that, man. What are you Stop. talking about? Listen, y'all. I have an online official accredited university. You can go online and look up my universe. It is official. The only accredited university where each certificate you get three credits and they're recognizing United States colleges. This I is not know, made up, bro. Man. This is not made up, bro. You, These are accomplishments, man. I'm saying to you, I want to debate accomplishments. The African Hebrew Israelites of Jerusalem versus what y'all doing. That's the baby. Talk to me, mighty Hebrew. What is um, what is space Hebrews about? Space Hebrews. Um, you got this dude by the name. Of, he's not the first one, but you Billy got a brother by the name of Billy Carson and others uh -huh. that teach that the Hebrews come from a dimensional planet known as Nebelu. Do you and they, believe they, that? They, I acknowledge that we, all of us, not just, I acknowledge that all of us come from some form of stardust or from some type of consciousness. Yes, I acknowledge that. Not okay. in the sense of, not in the sense of like this literal spaceship, but I'm talking about consciousness crossing over from the subjective realm to the objective realm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the mind can do that. The mind is the control of all things. But you notice, I, didn't you study supreme wisdom? Didn't you study the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad when you talking about the original man? So what's the my, my, so brother brother mighty uh, um brother mighty Hebrew? So what's your position as far as when the scriptures speak about speak about clay and speak about dirt and being formed? Right. I know right, right, right. I know like the Elohim, but I'm I'm talking about. What's your position like when it comes down to that? Even hey, hey brother even, Virgil, brother even, Virgil, this black G Smith. I just want to say hello to you, brother. brother. I heard you earlier. What's happening, my brother? How you been? Right. Hey, what's up, black Jesus? Hey, hey, what's up, mighty Hebrew? Love you, man. Love you, brother. I, I love, love you Hebrew. too, man. Yeah, so, I love you too. Yeah, so, so um, your, your position on like, like, like as far as like when it comes down to like clay, the clay and all that. And That's a good I'm, question. Numo Elish, like even in the Numo Elish, dealing with the Sumerian text, when it speaks about the clay and what's yeah. your position on that? Because it's, it's interesting. That's a, that's a that's a good question. Now, in the Arabic texts of the Quran, it uses the Arabic word aswan. You know Arabic. You know I'm telling the truth, which is the yeah. black mud. Aswan. Then aswan, if you go yes. or aswan, and then if you go into the Hebrew text of Bereshit she chapter two verse seven, it don't use the Hebrew word. They don't use the English word dust. It uses the Hebrew word, which is apar or afar, which you get the word Africa from, which is soil. It's actually talking about the earth within itself, also known as Adama. So we came with the earth plane. What I'm saying that the original man came with the earth plane. When you look at the word Adam and Adama, they have the same root. When you look at the word in the Ivri or the Hebrew, it's Ha Adam. The Ha is symbolic to a man with outstretched arms. The Aleph is an ox here, symbolizing strength, power. The Daleph is a doorway when you go within, and the meme is waters. So when you say Ha'adam, you're saying the firstborn or the first blood rising with outstretched arms. So when you look at the so-called creation correctly, emanation, what you're looking at is the ecological condition of a warrior's being coming from the subjective to the objective. It's not, there was never a literal man named Adam nor a literal woman named Eve. That is not in the original Hebrew text, nor the original Hebrew thought. So you that look is at a Western so you, social construct. So you look at it as like a you you look at the scriptures as a teaching story. Then 
So, I look at this. Someone like, I look at like the, the brothers from the, just like the brothers that study the Egyptian mystery school. They they look at their story similar, similar. As a it's similar story, no. not a literal thing that took place. Look, even global media just said Mikey Hebrew one. I mean, I smack. Listen, polite was not. He was not prepared for me. He wasn't prepared for me. Just like I was breaking down. Doctor Khaled Muhammad said we were the Hebrews. The most minister, honorable minister Louis Farrakhan said he put his life on the line. He said in final call that the original children of Israel were the black people in America. If you go into the book, our Savior has arrived. That was written in 1974 by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad on page 76. He said that we the original Hebrews. I can go to Sweet Daddy Grace. I can go to Father Divine. I can go to Saint John Divine. I can go to all these different scholars that saying that we the Hebrews. And I ain't even getting to Doctor John. I have with Clark when you go into Africans and the revolutions and the crossroads where he said it's now a need for us to study the migrational pattern of the Hebrews and that we migrated from Northeastern Africa to West Africa. I ain't even getting to Dr. Ben. Stop using Dr. Ben side nigga incorrectly talking about, oh, he left that. He might have left the tenets of Judaism, but he always knew that he was a Hebrew. When you read the book, We the Black Jews, Bear Witness to the White Jewish Race Myth, he break down that his family from the tribe of Gad. And he breaks down how we went into, uh, we was in Serencia 115 ACE and migrated into West Africa, a major with the indigenous tribes and got caught up in the transatlantic slave trade. I ain't even get to John Lavelle. What about Sheikh Anti Diop in pre-colonial Black Africa, where he break down that there was a minority of Hebrews that lived in to Dharma amongst the Niger bent. I'm using your own scholars against y'all. That's the difference from me and y'all. I don't have to just use Hebrew scholars. I'm using your own Afrocentric elders. I want you to resurrect them. Why you keep coming at us about y'all wrong? This, this, resurrect your elders, your elders. What about Dr. Shaka Musa Bear Shingle and the, um, the book, God, the Black, the God, the Bible, and the Black Man's Destiny? What about the book he wrote, African Genesis? So I never know these guys can't fuck with me. I don't even know why he even playing these games. I read all Sheikh Anti Dia books, all Bangers books, all the, the same Afrocentric scholars y'all read. I was I was showing Sinai this back in 2008. Then you come on and say, what Hebrew did you know that call himself God? He was shocked. He never met a Hebrew like that. And he keep coming to me with these kids. Man, that's what I mean. But getting back to you, Elder uh, Mukmin, yes. Um, I don't acknowledge Adam a person, Eve a person, but an ecological condition of a group of people being born out from 311 trillion, 40 billion BCE to 100,000 BCE. You have antediluvian history and post-diluvian. I am willing to challenge Jabari and say that what you know as pre-dynastic commit, go back to Taman Nadu, the Nasu were a copycat of the Nagas, the serpent people of the Indus Valley. I'm here saying that the Indus Valley is way older than Kemet. That's what I'm saying. So let me and I'm saying that they were black people. That's so what I'm saying. Me, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So do you think that all hold on, brother, hold all on, brother, brother, this is going to be long. Yeah, okay. Can okay. I get a one-on-one -on -one interview with you tomorrow, my Hebrew? We could do whatever you tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Thursday. Yeah, we could do it Thursday. Yeah, what Thursday night. What time is good um, for you? Right now, right now it's three oh nine a.m. So let's do it. Yeah, we could do it around this time. It's fine. I okay. just set my alarm. All right. I want to ask you some questions, and um, you can ask I me noticed, some questions now. Y'all, y'all also teach that Gabriel Prasa was a Hebrew. So we're gonna find out a few things tomorrow. I'm gonna just get. Yeah, some yeah, y'all, y'all. Right. I definitely do. And matter of fact, we could talk about that briefly right now. Gabriel, no, no, not right now. I don't want. I don't want you to give it up now. I want to have a, our own stream for that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Our okay. And stream. I know people. And I know people be typing you in saying you're asking this, asking. No, no. I'm, I'm on your. No, no, no. Listen, I'm on your Facebook page right now, and so I'm looking at all oh, the stuff that so you, you represent. You see so the style, you got Gabriel. Do you? Do you see I my see style? Yeah, I see it. You're I see you got Gabriel up there. Yeah. You know. I see you got Gabriel Prasa up there as a Hebrew. But do you see the sources? But do you see the sources? Am I just making it up or so am I'm I giving gonna, the sources? I'm going to ask you some questions on all of this. So go ahead, my brother, because I'm getting ready to wind it down. Virgin, 
Go ahead, brother. Yeah, oh, I just want to uh, go ahead. You, you, go ahead. Go ahead. I, and one more thing, so it can be known, so no, so he don't ask me this about the whole earth being flagged. Yeah, at the Mike Hebrew University, we don't teach that the whole earth was flagged. The word is a ritz or a rataza, which only means field or land. There has always been people on the earth. I'm saying that we existed on the earth before Africa even existed. How about you know, that? You know, you know some. You know, how some about Muslim, that? You know, some Muslim brothers that that you got a lot of Muslim brothers that don't believe that the earth, the whole earth, was flooded too. I know, I know, them, I know. They say that it was local. That's it. That's very interesting. That's fact. So, no, so if, if it was, was local, local, if it was local, how did he get all the animals then? Yeah. That's what you mean, a, all that the that animals? Raised, you raised mean, and don't say of, and don't say all the question. animals of the earth. If you no, read it correctly, don't you supposed to kill all the animals? Everything supposed no. to be gone except for two no. of each kind. Hey, mighty listen. Hebrew, nah, nah. Hey, look, they fishing because we got a we got a debate. Listen. No, we got a they got a debate. <laughs> <laughs> they got a debate. <laughs> nah, he fishing. Nah, he fishing. I ain't stupid. Okay. I do this. Okay. I do okay. this. Okay. Nah, Elder Yard got a debate on that. Elder, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Uh, Elder Yara, uh, Elder Yara, uh, BJM do got a debate on that. Nah, don't do that. Just, He's fishing. Watch this. Watch I'm this. Trying to save I'm to saying, save his man. I'm saying, Sarnetta, I'm saying that we existed on the planet before Africa as we know today existed. How about that? I agree with you. How about, how about, watch this, watch this. I'm saying that, I'm saying that what you know as the the anthropocoids and the, uh, and, and, and the pithecoid apes are a devolution of the original man. How about that? That's one of the things the polite was saying, oh, so you saying that because y'all dealing with the evolutionary paradigm. So within the evolutionary paradigm, y'all think that the gorilla species were before man, but they were actually a freak of nature, by the way, of species mixing with other species. Go to the you Smithsonian be careful. Come, hey, What gorilla, you mean? Hey, hey mighty no, 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 Hebrew, no, 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 be no. careful no, now. Oh, You're oh, stepping oh, into oh, that's still, dangerous that's still grounds, bro. That's still, with the, that's still with the scientific data. No, no, no I'm telling you, Unk is in the building. He's watching you. I don't you. care who be in the building, careful, man. Be careful, brother. I'm what a grown doing? man. I'm You're a grown man. You're saying now that, that we were Listen, here before I'm a grown man. I'm telling you, listen to what I'm saying, the original man. Don't look at the original man as you see us today. We looked at different. We didn't look the yes. way that we look now. I agree. So, so you agree with evolution? Oh, no, I do not. I acknowledge oh, what is known as bro. devolution. I acknowledge oh, em man. emanation, emanation, and devolution. Listen to what I'm saying. The missing link. You want to know who the missing link? You want to know what the missing link was? What? The original mind of the original man in oh, our man. historic state. That's what I'm talking about. You you don't acknowledge that we the original universal mind. You don't written, acknowledge that the original man is arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You don't acknowledge that we originally alone in the original thought process of who we are. You don't so, acknowledge that. Bro. See, thing, I'm talking to thing, you, side see, see, but the thing Not, is, when 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 you think when we talk like that, though, beloved, it 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 broadens the thing crazy far. Like it's no borders now. We but there is no board. Now. But there, there, but that's, that's the like, point that I'm saying. That's the point really? that I'm saying. Are you actually are, asking for borders? No, listen, not, watch no, this. no, no, no. Listen, watch. I'm not asking for borders. I'm gonna ask okay. you something, Elder. Understand. I'm gonna ask you something, we, Elder. We stand on something, though. We gotta stand on. We something. do stand. I do stand on something. I stand that the original man is the Elohim embodied in human form. That's what I so I never know me from the beginning. Now this now watch this. If it was only just the most high, everybody talk about the most high. If it was only just the most high, then wouldn't it be logic and clearly understood that everything is an extension within the most high? And in essence, everything is the most high, but just vibrating on different frequencies. Why are we scared to say that? See, my brother mighty my, 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 my brother mighty hebrew now i know that's i know I it. It. no 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 listen, listen to it. that's high science that's high science i'm eclectic i'm not gonna i don't write this stuff off because of the simple fact i really don't claim to have the total truth i know that this stuff is learning series that we go through mm -hmm. in life i understand that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's deep Right. And I'm and not saying split. that there you're isn't a most you. high. Something, and I'm not saying that know. there isn't a most high. Yes, but yes. our understanding of the most high, what I'm challenging mm -hmm. is most Israelites, 
most Muslims in the West, they have a Western interpretation of the right. Muslim. Even in, even in Islam, you always had to initiate a dap. They're known as the Sufi. If you go to any different school of thought, they always had those distinguished gentlemen and women that understood certain high sciences that the common people did not understand. You're right. That was You're in right. every society. So I'm yeah. one of them within the Hebrew Israelite community that stands on I the sciences it. of the of the, the ancient of days, I which would it. give a, a understanding that the Torah has to broaden within the dispensation of time as we grow in knowledge. We can't be stuck 3,500 years ago. What was understood at that time don't apply to death. We have to understand it based on our condition today. And that's why Sinetta always get fucked up when he talked to me. Because he always tried to ask me a question based on an understanding of some older, I'm like, I can't believe Sinetta is asking me about the most high heart and then Pharaoh's heart. As if Pharaoh didn't heart his own heart. Because, his own in, heart. Essence, <laughs> because in essence, the Pharaoh is the most high in that retrospect. <laughs> and then on top, and then on top, we got to understand. Brother, how don't go there, are. brother. You don't want that smoke, brother. Don't do it. Yo, yo. Just do not like, do it, brother. You don't I ain't going to hold you. Oh, that's light work, bro. That's so and, light and, work. Yo, you be on some. Yo, when he be talking to some Hebrews with that, I be mad. I'm like, I was, because, right, because he, man, he, be like, right? he be getting them, he be getting some of them, right? And I be like, yo, this is real easy here. Like, bro, Just if you like, don't give me that question, like, I want them all. Man, give me he asked me this question. The first one he ever asked that question to was me. He asked me that question. I was the very first one, and I bodied that question. He could hey. never come back. He could hey, never bro. come back. Hey, Mighty Hebrew, I got a question for you based off something that I heard you say tonight. Yes, sir. It's a quick question. You, yes, sir. You, you mentioned the Nagas, right? From yes, sir. Are those, are those Nagas Kushites, right? they before the Kushites. The Kushites go through the man Kawash or Kush. That's what you call post-Diluvian history. I'm talking okay. about anti-Diluvian history way before the sons of Noah. I'm saying that the Nagas go back 100, excuse me, 1,250,000 BCE. That's what does, I'm saying. Does hey, Naga, uh, does, 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 not, does Naga mean king? No, Naga means serpent people. It's a Sanskrit word that means serpent people. Okay. That's what Nagas mean. It's a okay. Sanskrit word. Naga so, mean king, brother. Exactly. No, no I said Naga, Naga means king, brother. Go, no, it don't. No, it does not. Naga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, let's not do that. That's 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 find out. N a g a s. Naga is a Sanskrit word for that king. means serpent people. Look it up, bro. I'm, Don't just say it. Look I mean, it up. I'm looking. I think y'all talking, talking about Nigas. Are y'all yeah, talking about Nigas? Y'all talking about y'all talking about Nigas. Nigas means king. Right? No, you talking about the Nagas, brother. The Nagas, yeah. brother. Nigas, no, Nigas, Nigas, Nigas. Hold on, another time. One other time. I want to let me say this. Nigas is a is a Yis word that means king, which is N G. Excuse me, N E G U S. I'm yes. not talking about that. I am talking about N A G A S. Me too. That's two, two different words. words. Me too. That's two different words. I asked the question, so let me let me further build on why I asked the question. Because but I just wanted to correct you so you would know it don't mean the same thing. Okay. So, so because did these Kush, because I'm I'm under the, the impression that the Kush sites migrated from you know mm -hmm. uh, where they crossed from into Yemen, Havilah, moved up right. into okay. So, so that even that Sanskrit is a Kushite. You don't, you don't, like Clyde Winters. Clyde Winters wrote something about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm familiar. I'm familiar okay. with the theses. Okay. And that's okay. that's. I'm talking about antediluvian. I'm talking about before the Kushites even existed. Okay. I know what you're talking about. You're talking okay. about post-Diluvian history when the Kushites <laughs> migrated from the Nile Valley region, going through Yemen. Going into Mesopotamia and India, that's post diluvian history. Okay. I'm not talking about that. The what? The what? But, hey, and for the record, and for the record, this is why the Exodus become important because after this terror eruption, 
we move into a different epoch as well. We see atmospheric changes. We got a lot of different things that are happening. Hey, hey, so, 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 so anonymous, are you? Hey, King J. Hey, King J. <laughs> Don't let them run all around the timeline like that, yo. That's crazy. They, 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 they run around the timeline. Right. I we give got you the right. Old we head. got the right. Hold on. We got the right. We, we got, got the, the right, right to build our own. We got the right timeline. And another thing, oh, since no. I'm bringing oh, that no. up, no, 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 because you oh, came no, no, in, no, no. you interrupted freeze, freeze, the conversation. Though. I'm not free. You just called me old head though. Who called? Yo, yo, I need y'all to go one at a time. Let I'm feeling young buck. The young buck. Listen, listen. You can't call me old head. We having a. I love you. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, don't get it. Don't do it. I'm just playing. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, this is what this is what we said. I'm looking up the word Nagas right now, and it says uh, out, it says Sanskrit, Sanskrit meaning serpent people. Yes, That's what the word means. I know, I know, I know, I know you, I know you do um. Um, I know you do, um, Aunt West. I ain't talking about you. Aunt okay. Man, you go back, man, like Shell Top Adidas, man. You understand, you man, when it. you was on... What, you, what you mean? It. I used to buy you, you on, on your own show, man. That was, hey, to, yo, what, that was we, fun. Yo, we used to have some... Yo, that was fun, man. We used to have some uh, real constructive debates. Y'all need yeah. to go... You still got them debates, Aunt, when you used to be on the Brother Aunt yeah. Nikki Love show? Yeah, yo, that was yeah. I think they on there. Yo, was and me, that's saw my man who did now. Like, yo, we used to get it in. Was elders in. We was y'all was surprised. Y'all thought we was the regular conscious community dudes. That's what you messed hey, up. Aunt, hey, aunt, hey, aunt, can I ask you a quick question? <laughs> What's up? What's hey, up? have you studied the theory eruption and the Santorini eruption? Yeah, I know about the theory eruption. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would, like, would you would you say like first off, uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. What what's Kemet's what what is Egypt's writing of it? Does Egypt write about it? And then how would it have affected Egypt and the Levant and all of these things? And uh, I, and a third one: Would it have affected carbon dating? Mm, no, that's a that's a good question. No, nah, people kind of mess that up. They do too much with that. Yeah, they. You know how I'm saying? You might have seen the, the cloud from Egypt, yo, but I'm not sure if it affects. I know Diops kind of talks about it in his work, right? Um, now, but I'm talking people, about like in modern day archaeology, we see the pumice in the areas from this, and we also see change in atmospheric pressure. We see a lot of different things. So I'm just wondering, you know, it's not gonna mess up carbon dating though, because we go, we're gonna allow, we're gonna allow for that. The very fact that you know about the theory of eruption, scientists clearly understand the effects of it, and they clearly know how when they do when they date in certain areas. I'm just saying there's an argument about it. I'm just saying there's an argument about it right now. Is that like there, there, the argument God, about it? There's some arguments. Oh, come on, no way. Like I'm telling you, it's an I, argument I, about I, it. I, I, know, I know that it's not definitive. It's still radical. He know that. Like there's still arguments even about the dating. I will say there's a quote unquote oh, consensus. This, this, hold on, hold on. I will say, hold on, hear me out. I will say that there's a quote unquote consensus amongst a lot of scholars, but there is definitely an argument about the dating and what it That's did to the region. Hey. hey, hey, anonymous, check this out. Are no, you for me? Hold on for a minute. Hold on for I'm a minute, gonna... bro. Listen, okay. just hold on for a minute. We got people actually listening to this broadcast, right? Okay. We're not going to sit up here on YouTube and act like something just happened that is actually not. We're the only ones having <laughs> this happen. Let's, let's get back hey, into hey, look, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to you later, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm telling Fun. you, it's, it's I, real, bro. Like, hey, hey, real right, talk. All right, like, yo, yo, hold on. Everybody, take... hold on. Everybody, hold on. Everybody go on mute. I got to bring in Chris Harris because y'all said a lot about him. So we're going to bring in the brother. And let him do his thing. Chris, you got the floor. Yeah, um, I feel like the world's smallest star right about now. I mean, I'm trying to hurry up and get home and see what every what the what the whole thing is. Like, why is everybody so afraid of Chris Harris, right? Right. <laughs> so, I mean, my question is: the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to say that Garfield is a very crafty liar. He's a very crafty liar. And I want to prove that now because I take my academia and my scholarship very, very seriously here. Now, if anybody remembers that debate that took place between me and Ankh, I'm sorry, I mean, not Ankh, excuse me, my bad, Ankh, um, me and Zion Lex happened on the 20th. And everybody's seen my slideshow presentation. And I'm going to show y'all how he lied and how crafty he is at lying. And for all the people saying Chris is very disrespectful, 
on morning coffee on my on my platform i do not disrespect anybody um as a matter of fact i tell everybody do not slander garfield or anybody else all right i can clearly see a true fear of these guys debating me not so much as yara and not so much as anonymous hebrew but the first thing i want to show everybody here is the email because he did call me during the debate he was doing that but it has to go once again we have to ask ourselves here is why are you calling me during the debate you're calling me during the debate because you want to see your arch nemesis get beat up in a debate that's respectful i get that right so let's go here as you guys can see this is at 8 30 p.m he sends me this he says edith bruder's first jews in africa white jews don't mean black jews First of all, my debate was not about black or white Jews, but about, um, I'm sorry, it was about Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. So I want to see if I can pull up his attachment that was in here. I want to see, here it is right here. No one saw me use any of this in my debate. No one saw me use any of this. This is what he sent me. This is what Garfield Reed sent me. Notice when he said he sent me slides, and I, I called him out on it. Then he tried to make it about the Torah.com. True, you called me, but it was you said, hey, Chris, I sent you something. Because me and um, Garfield was kind of, we were pretty cool in our review of the Bible, right? We were pretty cool on that and pretty much agree, in agreement with that until he started teaching that Jesus was an actual person, all right? Here's the second email that he sent me. Let me pull this up real quick. I want to continue to show everybody that he's very disingenuous. Why are you um, showing the man emails though, yo? Come on, yo. What's because it's to my hey, listen, Al Collins. Why don't you let me do this? You call me who? Al Collins, because I know you riding for your boy. He called you OJ Parker. He called you OJ Parker. My email account. How you gonna? And here it is. He called that man Al Collins. He called that man OJ. Yo, uh, uh, let the brother finish. Let him finish. But did he send them emails to you privately? Did he send them emails to you? Why are you showing us? Why are you showing us? Right, no, hold on, hold on. Y'all probably didn't see it yet. Hold on, stop, stop. Y'all probably didn't see when Garfield came on to show his stuff. Man. What is y'all right. talking about? So what here it talking is. About? Then he sent me some stuff about Deuteronomy 28 that I did not use in my debate. And this is everything he sent me. I never used any. And then he sends me stuff from his book, which is trash, by the way. No working hypothesis in which he plagiarized a lot of stuff. Don't let me come after you, young man. Look, this is what he sent me. This is the truth. And I used none of it because I could not synthesize any of this. And here's the time of the, him sending this. It was around 827 when he was calling me saying, Chris, look at your um, look at your email. I sent you some info. I never used it, Garfield. So there's no reason to lie anymore. I'm clearing all that up. You're a very crafty liar. That's all you've ever been. That's all you who you'll ever be. And don't make me, don't make me do it. Because I have your um, your history degree. I have it. Don't make me do it because I'm not cut like that. And I stay away from that. You so don't ever did. lie on me as if I needed your help in a oh. debate against a Hebrew. Oh, man. Well, we all need each other help, Chris. I wish I could have helped you when you ran from Pastor Benny, but I could Hey, man, I would have. Hey. Hey, I could have I could have hopped in that Bronco with your aunt. Uh, uh, <laughs> I uh, had someone to run with. Chris Harris, are you ready to apologize to the entire world about lying about having an engineering degree, a master's degree, or a bachelor's degree? Are you ready to apologize to the entire world? <laughs> Can you prove to everybody that I don't have that? Oh uh, yeah, because you won't show it. Oh, I don't have to show my engineering degree to anybody. That's no, private no, information. No, 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 showing it or stop lying. Okay, no, man, this is why nobody wants to debate you. Sure. Like, so oh, you, you want to know what he's mad about? Lying, Let me show you guys what he's mad about. He's mad about, he's mad about some, excuse me. You're mad about because I beat up some white cracker on this channel concerning Christianity. That's what you're mad about. You're mad about. Why do I have to show what you my degree? What does that have to do with you having a degree? Let me I go do have my degree. Why do I have oh, to show oh, you oh, my degree? Hold on. 
I'm going to turn on my video and I'm going to bring you, Chris Harris, by transcript. Mm -hmm. Now you go get yours. I'm going to okay. get mine right now. Okay. I'll be right back. Hey, Chris. Okay. Hey, hey, Chris. Quick question. What's up, man? Um, because I'm big on primary sources, right? And a brother anonymous been asking a lot of questions dealing with a, a certain time period around, you know, 1549 BC, Hesepshu, around that time period about the Exodus. Right. So I'm there's, there's a certain stella. It's an Egyptian stella by Hesepshu. It's called the Tempest Stella. Okay. I want, I want to see, because you pull that up, because the brother just mentioned the eruption of Mount Thera. And to okay. me, that could kind of, you see, kind of correlates. Once we get the reading of Stella, we can kind of maybe say, "Hey," and then it, this 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 Stella, this Tempest Stella, also kind of correlates with another Stella called the Vanity. Hey, who is Stella. this brother talking? I don't mean disrespectful, but you on your you on your game. Who this brother talking? It's King J. Oh, King J. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm with you. All right, yeah, go ahead. Keep with, going. I was, I was building with you. Um, yeah, I'm here. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Know goes. what you're talking about. Keep going. It's it's a it's a, it's, a, it's called the banishment of the Asiatics. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the banishment of the Asiatics is, is by Hesepshu. She talks about so um, early. I want to get on with Smash. I'm gonna be honest. About, I'm mad at you because you're giving away my dagger. But keep okay. bring it out now since Smash, you brought it out. Because I've been I've been baiting them with the Ippawar, and this is what I've been sitting on. But go Smash. ahead and bring them out. Smash, I wanted to talk with, you know, you and Smash was going back and forth earlier with it. So I wanted to get in earlier, but y'all was, you know, so, but, um, yeah, but he said that those at the word. Is for that the, nigga Judah? Is that nigga Judah? Nah, man, that ain't no, that's not nigga Judah. Nah. It is nigga Judah. Beat the screen. Oh, you talking about the, uh, okay, you talking about that site right there? Yeah. Let this brother bring out his info, though. Let this brother bring out his info real quick. Okay, go ahead. We put he, we put on the Tempest Stella, right? T E M P E S T E Stella. Chris was gonna pull it up. Why are you pulling that up? Can why I just get it? why? Why is everybody quiet? No, 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 no. Why is everybody quiet? Oh, well, I was going to say something. Hold on, Q. And you know I got love for you, Q, brother. Uh, I, I just want to point this out. His brother's asking hey, a yo, real solid... quick. Hold on, y'all. Hold on real quick, man, because I'm... Um... All right. So um, is this... The, is share this the Hold on, y'all. I want to share this with uh, the Gorilla Hebrew. I mean, Mighty Hebrew real quick. Real quick. This book is The Gods of Northern Buddhism, and I'm going to read to you the story of Nigajuni or Nigajuna. Just <laughs> follow the up as I read. It says he received the treatise on which he expounded and developed the Mahayana school from the serpent gods, the Niggas, and that the Nigga king himself revealed to Nigajuna the holy text in the dragon palace under the sea. That's like America. They further claim that Gautama Buddha, the Buddha, had given this treatise called the Prajna Paramita, to the niggas, to God, until such a time, it's a specific time now, as the world should become sufficiently enlightened to understand its transcendent wisdom. And that the niggas, after converting this individual, Nigga Juni, to Buddhism, handed over to him their precious treasure. Now let's take a look at what the precious treasure is. It's on the bottom line. They said they handed over to him their precious treasure. The precious <laughs> is the evidence and the proof of life after death. That's the bottom line. They refer to this as their precious treasure because it's the only thing that God wants to hear at this point in time. It's the only thing in the world that they preach. Praying, stomping, testify means nothing. It's the teaching of life after death. And this is God's gift to the Negro. God has decided to give this to the Negro to make the Negro his appointed people. And you see in sacred temple of Barubador, the only thing that the Buddha images do there is preach this precious treasure, the proof of eternal life. And this nine floor uh, greatest religious monument on earth, the top three floors show the bell for whom the bell tolls. Now, let me tell you what the bell means in all the religions of the earth. 
The bell is a symbol of the connection between God and man in all religions, as you see here. I ain't gonna keep going with it because it's long, but yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm hip to that video. I'm hip to that. Well, right there is talking that. about the Naga and how the Naga is king. You heard him say the Naga king. He said the no, Naga but what king. I'm, what I'm saying to you, Sadneta, no, listen, Sadneta, that is not how you research a word. You have to study the etymology of the word. I know what you're the saying. Listen, hold you on, see the hold video, on. You see they broke listen, down I see, the etymology. Yes, he even, listen, the word, the word Nagas, man, is strictly a Sanskrit word that means serpent people. This, all you got to do is look it up. Go, go right now on your Google, type up the meaning of the word Nagas. N A G A S. That's all you got to do. It's a Sanskrit word, brother. They okay. All right. Let me let me bring um Chris back. Go ahead, Chris, because I cut him off. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? I know they wanted me to pull the tempest. Stay hey, Chris. Like, Chris, give me ten yeah. seconds, please. Ten seconds. Who's that? I want to point out. This is A nine. This is anonymous Hebrew. I okay. want to point out, sir. When he's telling you to do proper etymology, you when you do it. Because I, I know you will study. When you do it, you will understand what he's saying. And that's all I'll say. Okay. Go ahead, Chris. All right. So the Tempest Stele, um, what, um, which one do you want? The one from Wiki? Which one would you like? Well, it, anyone, um, because they're all going to be just uh, all, uh, copies of the primary, right? Online versions of the, you know what I'm sorry. So let's just pull the one from Wiki. Let's pull that one up. Do you have, do you have one? one okay. Quick question. Do you have one that has the actual transliteration? Okay, transliteration. Let me pull that up. Transliteration. Let me pull that up. Okay. Um, let's go down. Reinterpreting the Tempest Stele Bible Archaeology. You want to go there? That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go here. Okay. Let's go to Bible Archaeology. Okay, Somehow you're are you stating that the Tempest Stele proves um the Exodus? I'm, 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 that would be more along the lines of the plagues. Um, when, 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 when she, when she talks of the bodies floating in the river and the actual pyramids being destroyed and, 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 and the, the, how the gods are punishing them. Mm -hmm. I would, I would just want you to see, could you pull it up so we can read it? Yeah, um, I would, if it was anything, I would say this is probably where the biblical narrative is inspired from. Such okay. as, okay. And also, okay. I would say that it was probably inspired from the Iwer Papyrus. I see okay. a lot of people okay. make correlations with the Iwer Papyrus and the so-called um, the biblical Exodus. But when you read the Iwer Papyrus, it clearly tells you that the Semites were coming into their land, harassing them. Uh -huh. So, so, so this would, so this would have been in Thebes when this was happening, correct? Okay, Thebes is in the north or south. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Thebes is where they. Thebes is where, um, because we have. The so I'm asking you because I want you to be clear with your argument. Is it in the north or south? Well, it's going to be. It's going to be south. Okay. But it's going to be the south. Thebes is 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 in, at this time where the the dynasty of the Egyptians are located at because we have the Hyksos and Avaris um, controlling that whole Nile Delta area. And they pushed these Egyptians into the Thebes, the Theban area. So when Hatshepsut is is, is is writing this, she's she's also writing about the banishment of these Asiatics from from out of Thebes. Um, okay. These these Thebans these these this, these Asiatics go into uh, Jerusalem. According okay. to the, according to her according to this banishment of, of talk that her, talk King J. I'm just saying this is this is the primary this is the primary uh, Egyptian source. Yes, you but where does it say that these were Israelites? It doesn't say Israelites. It says Asiatics. Smash was on here earlier. He said Asiatics were uh, nom nomadic Amu. That's fine. Those are Amu. But where does it say that these were Israelites? Yeah, yeah, let me it, tap it, in it, real quick. Let me tap in real quick. Let me tap in real quick. This no, no, hold on. Let me finish dealing with him. Let me finish dealing with him. Right, then I, I, you, I got a question for you, Anonymous. That's a, that's a red herring, but go ahead. That's not a red herring. <laughs> you have to be able to back up your, uh, you have to be able to back this up with facts. Mm -hmm. Stop. Not, don't stop this stream. Let I'm me not, finish not, this out, son, please. I'm not, I'm not saying Israelites. I'm saying, so I'll, I'll say Semitic speaking people. Okay, but we do know, but we can agree that the Hyksos were a Semitic people. Am I correct? 
I'll, I'll say that the word Hyksos is a title. They came in as nomadic tribes into, into this land, and then they actually became um, elite. Some of them mm -hmm. became elite, and they were, and they became gave, were given the name Heka, Hekasu. And they colonized uh, other Amu. And, right. and you had Nubians that were Hyksos, too. So we okay. got to be careful. And look, and, 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 look and Mighty okay. Hebrew is making an excellent point. Smash okay. proved my point when he brought, went into the Nubians because these Nubians were kidnapped and brought up there and amalgamated with the Semites in the time period that I'm talking about. And I can okay. show you that through so, Kemet. I can so show we, you that through Kemet. So we also... Yes, you can, and also, one more time, when we're looking at these so-called, and I'm going to save a lot for our debate here, I'm still looking for how the uh, Tempest Stele, which we, it would take, be taking place, what, in the 16th century BCE? That's what some say. There's an so, argument against it. Uh, okay, so we're saying 16th century BCE. Every time I try to get home the date here, you guys tend to move it, um, move it again. Date. What's I'll your date you, for the Exodus? I'll give you a date. I'm giving you 1549 because that's the date that has set suit. So, okay. it has to, so you're saying 1549 BCE is when the exodus took place. I'm a, I, I, well, so look, so look, I'll say that there were multiple exodus because there was an exodus out of Africa. I'm speaking about Europe. the biblical exodus. Well, 1446. 1446. 1446 BCE. 1446 is when the so this would be during the eighth. So this would be during the 18th dynastic period. Am I correct? Hey, King Jay, let me tap in. King Jay, let me tap in. King Jay, let me tap in. All right. Hey, so let's let's. <laughs> hey, and then if you want to get in mighty Hebrew, you can get it. But let, let's yeah, go. because right, I was so just going to say that it all depends on how one shifts the dynastic periods. Because you now, let's now let right. You know, let me let me please mighty Hebrew. <laughs> let, come on, bro. Because I, I don't even want I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let the young brother. Yeah, go. I, I don't. I don't even want you to have to get into this, bro. Like, cause I don't want them to try to drag you. Let me let me do this, right? Listen, so there's three issues. Number one, there are multiple chronologies of Kemet. You got a high, middle, and low. So it depends on what chronology you use with. But the problem is you'll start, most of y'all will start off with a high chronology and then try to finish with a low chronology. That's a problem, right? Here's the issue. No, the question is what, what chronology no, no. are you using? I got using? you. I got you. I, it doesn't matter. It does, it, now, here's why it doesn't matter for me. I can use the high, middle, or low. What I'm telling you is the exodus happened at the end of the, most of the third reign and, 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 and when Amenhotep II is taking over. The reason I didn't go there in our debate, because we only had 20 minutes, you changed the time period on me, all this and other. So the problem is this, right? When we really deal with this and we look at this in archaeology and anthropology, we can say that Amenhotep II and Thutmose III would have been co-regents. Right. And so what we see happening is, is by the time I'm or, or Thutmose III comes to his reign, I mean, Hotep II comes in, he's taken over. This is why he has to run a campaign up into the Levant and take 100,000 slaves because all of their slave labor left in the Exodus. The Exodus is the story of when the Amu that remain after the explosion of the Hyksos that amalgamate with the Nubians that are taken captive. All of them, they come into Avaris, into Quantir, which becomes Pyramuses. They amalgamate. They do soldier. They, they, they come in there, they do soldier work, and they do builder's work, right? We can show this in the geography. They build Pithom and Ramesses. They build these treasure and store series. They don't build the, the pyramids and all of this. The biblical narrative says that they built these treasure cities. And lo and behold, if you place this in the right time period, we see these store series, store cities being built. I don't got no problem coming on here doing a presentation. But what the brother is saying is when you deal with the Tempest Stelly, when you deal with Hatshepsut's uh, conversation about the abandonment of Avaris, and even when you deal with the Ippowar Papyrus, because it is very controversial in its dating, we get to the conversation of the exodus or the walking out of these Semites, these nomadic Semites, might I add, from Kemet. Th this is just a fact of archaeology. The material mm -hmm. culture is there. And not, and not only do they walk out, they walk out and bury goats, sheep, and all types of other animal, animals that are in their first year of life. This is and, always and the moment. Anonymous right, Hebrew, um, just one quick question. Anonymous Hebrew, I'm going to let you go. Let all y'all go. What, what, what's real funny when they talk about there's no evidence of the exodus, even the word of Varus itself gives it up 
because the word avaris means Hebrew man. It's an Angolized word defining Hebrew word. Avar is Hebrew. Ish is man. So if we're talking about avaris, it's you're man, talking you know, about that's Ibari Hebrew man. man. That's really what that, you that's get. That's a fact. That's a fact. You get an Ibari man. This has always been the argument that I've been sitting on. Right, this is why I say don't call me an Israelite, call me Ibari. So back to your question, though, Chris, because I don't want you to say I'm running. No, right? I, I would but like we, to have a chance to talk. You guys have been okay, I'll give it to you in a second. But but when we deal with the Tempest Stelly, when we deal with the Hatshepsut Stelly, when we deal with the Ipawar Papyrus, these are things that we see in Kemet that will speak to this. But notice, even when I dealt with Smash, he wanted to play semantics about exodus and abandonment. But don't nobody want to deal with the actual point that I'm making. The Bible itself dates the Exodus at 1446. Now, you can play the game about we don't know when Solomon Temple was built, but y'all love to run to consensus of scholarship, right? Those that do a consensus of scholarship about when the actual temple existed, they place it around 976, 970 to 960 BC, <laughs> somewhere Cuba. in that time frame. <laughs> Cuba, buddy, you can get this word right. too if you want this. So what I'm like, hearing but hold is, on, let me finish. Okay, guys, let me I want to try to hear what he's doing. Nah, let, let me finish. Me All you got to do is let me finish. Now, notice right when I get ready to finish my point, he let do the same thing that God feels. Go I know I'm winning. So let me finish. So when you deal with. Yeah, you did. But when you deal with First Kings six, or when you do First Kings chapter six, it makes it clear. And anybody that wants to argue with this, you got to tell me how they're wrong in their dating. They make it clear. Four hundred and eighty years before the building of the temple is when the Exodus happened. That places you smack dab in 1446, 1450, whatever game you want to play, BCE. And what we see is all the players on the field, everybody that needs to be there. And yes, I'll play the game so you can go talk about me. I'll tell you who I think Moses is. And Chris will tell you, they want to laugh at me. But I want y'all to tell me where Sinemu's body is. Since everybody got all these jokes, I'm going to walk right into Kemet right now, kick you in your chest, and ask you where is Sinemu's body. Since I'm wrong. Because he lines up with Josephus' uh, narrative as Osarsif, and he lines up with the Hebrew account of this person who would have had all of this uh, um, acclamation, all of this access. Sinemu is a native-born person. His father's name is Ramos. I ain't even going to go into that yet. And then all of a sudden, we see this brother having all the keys to the kingdom. And then all of a sudden, we can't find him. And they kick him. They, they start to wipe him off. They do damnatio memorial. They take him off the walls of Kemet. See, Chris, ain't nobody here to save you this time. Kansu can't pop up. Can't nobody Ooh. come save you. What I'm telling Ooh. you right now is, what I'm telling you right now is, Sinemud is Moses. Come get that work, too. Come get that work, too. Now y'all done pissed me off. I played with y'all long enough. Sinemud uh. is Moses. Go ahead and prove me wrong. Because he uh, fall, he falls into the... He fall, hold hey, hold on, let me finish. No, let me finish. Now, because he falls into the time period of the Exodus, and you don't know where his body is, King. You know why? Because he disappeared. Because he, he disappeared. Because he disappeared right when the Bible said he would have disappeared. Who won't that work? Go ahead and play Gish Gallop. Okay, I'm not gonna, I think we've heard a lot of explanations here. So let's just address the first thing because they say a lot. They say a whole lot, but let's just pull up Cinema and let's just pull up a uh, wiki article on them real quick. Oh. One more time. Let him finish, y'all. Don't cut them off, man. Don't cut him off, man. I, ho I hope he's going to show me okay, Cinema's body because that was my question. Okay, real quick. Where is Cinema's body? Okay. All right, y'all gotta let him go. Let him go. Oh, Stop. Okay. What's my no, question, no, Stop? No, let okay. him go, brother. Y'all gotta Stop. let y'all trying to distract him. Let him go. All right. Now, this is what the Bible, this is what history says about Sinemut. Sinemut was a low commoner birth, born to illiterate provincial parents. So that means his parents lived there. The story of Moses clearly tells you that he floated down the river and made it to Egypt. And all of a sudden his sister was there to meet him, whatever. It says his parents was Ramos and Hot no Nefer. What were Moses' parents' name, uh, anonymous Hebrew? In Hebrew or in Egyptian? 
Can you tell us their name in Hebrew? And then since you're saying that, when I get finished with this, please correlate that to the Hebrew for us. Please transcribe Ramos and Hotnefer into Hebrew. Go ahead. Yeah, no doubt. So so now let, let's explain this. I just there asked is no you trans I told you to do that when I was finished. Okay, go ahead and uh, finish. Yeah, 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 is no known doubt. to have had three brothers, Am Amenehet, Menotep, and Perry, and two sisters, Ahotep and No for Thor. This does not sound like the biblical Moses. However, only Menotep is mentioned outside of the chapel and tomb. In the inventory on the lid of chest found in the burial chain chamber of Ramos and Hotnefer. Wait a minute, so his parents were buried in Egypt. Where is that in the biblical narrative? More information is known about Senemu than many other non-royal Egyptians. So it's saying that he was an Egyptian. Let's go back. It says Senemu first enters the historical record on, the, on a national level as the steward of God's wife, Hashepsu, and the steward of the king's daughter, Nefiere. How are you synthesizing this with the biblical narrative? Some Egyptologists place Senemu's entry into the royal service during the reign of Tutmose I, not third, <laughs> but <laughs> it is far more likely than it occurred during either the reign of Tutmose II, second, not the third. It's like, it's like that circle, just, it just, you don't get to an end. Oh. Or while Hashef's well, Nada, mute your mic, so Nada. The love. Well, while Heshepsut was still a regent and not Pharaoh. Huh? So what we see here is none of this lines oh. up with any of the biblical narrative. It, uh, I it, thought, it, why it, doesn't it say, why doesn't it say that Senemu was found in a river like Moses? Can you please explain how you're synthesizing your narrative with that of a historical Egyptian narrative? It sounds like patchwork scholarship to me. He was an architect in Egypt. That's who he was. And now you're going to try and tell us, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a correlate the names from Hebrew, Hebrew and, um, um, and transliterate them into uh, the Egyptian language when Hebrew didn't even exist yet. Quick, quick question, Chief. Quick question, Chief. Those names that you uh, just said, they all were triliteral words, correct? Or did you yeah, well, well, let's first deal with the fact that he's saying, excuse me, let's first deal with the fact that he's saying Senemu is Moses. All right, but let me just ask because Egyptian words have dual root words, correct? And when we see the triliteral, that alludes to what we call Hebrew, correct? All right, all right. Uh, we got four hours in here, man. We got four hours in, so um, let me get some words. I have to close this out, man. I got four hours in. Y'all gonna let me hey, talk all this pseudo mumbo jumbo going do. on. Y'all was pseudo wise for a long time. I ain't gonna lie. It's not like the Anunnaki. Somebody <laughs> said, somebody <laughs> said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of, yeah, there was pseudo wise like The Anunnaki was going off. There was 26 million years of African <laughs> Mayan princes going on and Jesus walking. A lot of shalalala labas and dashikis and stuff going on. Right, oh, yo, my yo, God. I'm breeze through. We're gonna close out. So go ahead, Q. You heard what you heard? Yeah, I, I, was I think I got go, some of the bass lined up right now. That's good, and and believe me, I want to let everybody know that I'm getting I'm getting some good um, awards, some trophies. So we're gonna find out who will be the HOK champion, and it's not just gonna be one. We're gonna have like it's not just one out of a year. It could be two or three people. So let's get it in. I think you should have an award for the most pseudoist um statement. Yeah, that would probably be a category that right I Right now, have. right, it's only January. We got 26 million years of, of, of human history. You got, you got, you got, what you call it, a 6,000 year earth. You got God is light. Uh, Y'all got a whole array of pseudoism that you can esoterically believe your way through as you buy your next dashiki at the next Pan-African event. But if this ain't going to help you get a better car, I'm telling you, this right here is not going to help the black community. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you, y'all. You, I got a big-ass forehead for a reason, and this is not helping the black community. I'm going to be real with y'all. No offense to the brother, man, but I would love to debate who's the most pseudo in the community. We could line up like three pseudos, and y'all going to have to disprove how pseudo you are. 
No offense to anybody. You know, we can not listening to the Hebrews. I respect the Hebrews. I'm talking to the remixes, the dudes that be remixing the remix. They be like, I'm a little bit Hindu. I'm a little Bhagavaditan. I'm Egyptian. I'm Moorish. I'm just like, yo, pick a side, B. Like, <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you, anonymous Hebrew, I've learned, is a force to be reckoned with, for real. So, God damn, I never hear heard him really go in like that. And so the people are saying, make sure that anonymous Hebrew and Chris Harris debate go down. So that is hey, going hey, down. Hey, 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 and let me that make this clear. Hey, 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 and let me make this clear. I love you, Q. I was on your channel as a dude, Black Jedi. So I'm make oh, now nah, you my homie, bro. You know I'm Yeah, you, you know, know I love you. Know? Yeah, you know oh, I love you. But, but I'm going to say this to you. I would love to debate you. Does the Torah... Does the Torah represent a plan for how to get out of this captivity? And I'm going to let you know right now what I'm going to talk to you. Hey, look, and I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Torah, and I'm going to tie it in to Nilly Fuller Jr.'s 10 principles, and I'm going to add Francis Press Welsing as well. Ooh, these principles. Oh, hold on. Hold on. And I'm, and I'm going to talk about these principles of people activity. <clears throat> so you better be careful. I can show you how the I'll Torah... I'll hold on, that. hold on. I, I'm, all right, I'm, but I'm, I'm going to give you my premise so you know. I'm going to show you how the Torah teaches us how to use all 10 areas of people activity to get out of this captivity. Things like group economics, meaning I'm going to exchange money with you, but when it comes to this white man or when it comes to somebody who's against us, I'm going to charge him interest. Interest. Things you like that. You know what? I'll say Things I'll like that. I'll all right, yo, 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 stop, stop. We got to close out, Chris. I'll talk all that stop. talk. But at the end of the day, I already know Chris going to smash all that shit. Yeah. All right, so, let, so, let, so let me come back and, and close uh, out with Chris. Let me, let me no, close no, out hold on. Chris. Let me finish letting Q butter close out, and then I'm going to move right. on. Hey, I love, love you, Q. I love you. I want to you, man. With you, okay? And keep going. And keep going. You already know. You already know. I've been seeing your work, Q. I've been seeing your work, Hold on, brother. Close out. And shout out to Syed. Shout out to Zyax. Whoever hates on Zyax, you ain't really black. <laughs> All right. Q, close us out, brother. You got yo, two minutes. Um, I, I'm, I, yo, so um, Sinetta, first and foremost, I had to come up with the charcoal gray for you. I'll be next time I come out. I had a blue. Look nice. You look nice with, in that suit. Brother. I come up with the blue one for you next week. I'm gonna add a blue one for you next week. Yeah, that's I, fine. I love it. I, I love it. All the blue one for you. But um, yeah, you know, shout to scientific literacy, black empowerment, pushing the black community forward. I love the conversation, even though I have no clue what the hell y'all was talking about. I ain't gonna lie. So with that being said, Black Power, man. Hopefully next time I know what y'all talking about. All right, Black Power. Hey, hey, my man Quana, man, you funny as shit. Stop talking so much. Get your ass in here and build with the heavy hitters. You don't. You stay in the background and you talk your shit. I love you, brother. But you got to get in here and put your groundwork in. All right, let's move on over to my man, um, Jay, King Jay. You got it. Come on, Jay. Close us out. So I definitely enjoyed the deal today. It's kind of uh, my, my your mic yeah. sound messed up, brother. Okay, my bad. Uh, definitely enjoyed the bill, especially the conversation earlier with Anonymous and um and with Smash. Uh, definitely think that there's a lot of primary sources in Egyptian um, sources that definitely prove an exodus, that definitely prove um, a, a, a migration out of um, the Nile Delta into the Levant proto- um, what we would call proto uh, Israelites. Um, so I, I, I just, I just, I was glad that somebody actually had a chance to, you know, bring it out and actually have a good conversation about it. So I just want to say peace. All right, uh, let me bring in my brother Sankofa. Sankofa, let's go, man. I'm uh, sorry yeah, you didn't yeah, get a chance. Nah, you yeah, always come in late, brother. But go ahead, brother. Whatever you heard, you can close us out. All right. The first thing I, I came in on the, the Hebrew conversation about Hebrews in ancient Egypt. And then the only thing I'm going to say is any conversation that any person promoting the biblical, because most of this conversation comes from Man, uh, uh, Mantech Bifrit or Bifrit Mantech. Uh, and he's a brother. He's a person who's promoting this. Avaris is the uh, ancient stronghold of the Hebrews in Egypt. Whatever history any any Hebrew Israelite, any Abrahamic faith person is going to give you is going to be some sort of revisionist history in which they're trying to input the, the Exodus story on top of some sort of historical narrative. Because why? Because the Bible is not telling you the truth. What do they have to do? They have to mix and match. This brother said 
you know, the, uh, the, 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 the Tempest Stelly of Hatshepsut, which a year and a half ago, I, bear, I think Brother Reggie broke that down with the curses and so on and so forth in ancient Egypt. However, I've also heard Amenisi from the 19th dynasty is actually Moses because there was something about him being a lesser prince and not, not and having an exodus out of Egypt. Whatever I'm trying to say is all they can do is tell you some sort of revisionist history on actual historical evidence. And then they don't want to really accept that the biblical narrative is an evolving narrative over time. That's it for two minutes. I don't want to take too long. All right. Thank you, Brother San Kofar. Um, let me go, yeah, go on over point. to my man, Unk the God Killer. Is that Elder Yara in the back? Yara, is that you or no? Is that you, Yara? No? Okay, let me get Yara out of here. That ain't Elder Yara. Um, Unk is on you, my brother Unk. Let's go. Uh, I think that was that was Elder Yara's uh, uh, PTR, son. All right, he, All right. he went to sleep, probably. Go ahead, All go right. ahead, Unk. Come on, yeah, Unk. so What's just up? listen to the Discord. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, you I hear, hear you. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I'm just saying, listen to the discourse, man. I heard some misinformation about floods and evolution. Yeah, and just for the you, gonna, you might have to get in the ring with the mighty Hebrew, Unk, man. So no, I'm not. I'm not wasting. Not wasting my time. Man, I'm gonna get, get in the ring from. with nobody no more, man. Yeah, I'm in the middle of writing a book right now, man, and I ain't got time for that, man. Cause you, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's not even me you be talking to. You be going against the whole uh, scientific community. Hey, and uh, I just are you don't prepared? Think I'm to do it? Huh? Are you prepared, Unc? When you write your book, you know everybody coming after you, bro. You're you better have that book. Just... You better have that book checked. Correct in everything. Well, what we do know, what we do know is, it's it's. What's it's the topic like of the book? This. What's the topic uh, of the book? Um, I'll just wait to tell you. Don't worry about it. And be talking about the whole conversation we could have instead of wasting my time in the conversation I was writing while I was Good. having a conversation about the, the studies I've been doing for the last fifteen years on the Green Sahara, right? Okay. So that's that's you know civilizations in the Green Sahara. So the point I want to make here is that. Uh, uh, evolution is not only a theory, it's a fact, right? Scientists stand in the best position to talk about anything that's natural. Uh, mighty Hebrew and the rest of the Hebrews, they're in the best position to talk about religious matters. They're two separate things. We're not going to mix and match them. We're not going to make God have to use science and all that. That's crazy. God don't need science. Science and religion is actually a, an all human, human experience. Humans invented science to understand the natural world, and humans invented religion to understand the supernatural world. So I never thought we should mix and match them. And when Beautiful people point, try to huh? actually Beautiful do that, point. yeah, and, and people to try to do that, they just stand wrong. So like mighty Hebrew, based off my prolific battles with him over the years, man, and talk about the Bible and the scriptures. So I had to make sure I read that. So I could never come at y'all Hebrews without having read the Bible. That's why Sarnetta can come at y'all because we've been so much in the dang old Bible, we kind of know the damn thing, right? So we can't come in the Bible and say Abraham is not the father of many nations. That would be a direct lie against what the biblical text says. On the other hand, we cannot say that Dayton and all that stuff ain't real. That would be a direct lie against science. I'm saying we just need to stop that. It makes for hyperbole and great conversation, right? It's fun, right? To say the Hiskos is really the Hebrews, all that's fun. But experts, they're not having that conversation. I just wanted to say that, bro. Um, anytime anybody want to talk about evolution and floods and, and how we know where floods are, we could definitely have that conversation. But I don't know about all that free debate. The, the free debate thing is over with. You know what I'm saying? It's just, for me, it is because I don't got time. I got to take time away from my, my, my flourishing uh, young family. You know what I'm saying? That are growing. And I don't want to miss those precious moments, yo. It's okay. I got you. That's beautiful. I got you now. I know what it is. And That's so up. let me move on over to my brother, um, um, Virgil. Virgil, what's up, brother? Let's close us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once again, peace and blessings, man. I'd like to thank you. I might have to get Virgil in the ring, man. It I'm looked like he to, ready to put his I'm Islam man. up against, yes, um, uh, I'll get Bashir yeah. to beat him down or something. Oh, uh, Bashir beat him down. <laughs> I can uh, uh, are you serious? Yeah, he yeah. undefeated with Daddy Crazy, you know? <laughs> Now nah, I let him spar uh, with know. Barcia, man. You know, uh, but now nah, Virgil's too strong for Barcia. Virgil's uh, strong, man. Uh, 
I well, you know, you so know, you know, you know, that. brother, brother, Unc came through the room. He came through uh, Grand Rising room and whatnot, and he hasn't been back in a while. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, listening to the conversation and whatnot, just taking in everything that was said, it's very interesting when we're dealing with religion, all of them: Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hebrewism. It's all interesting um i like to participate in conversations man i like to participate like the brother uncle just was speaking i like to participate in discussions you know because as i always say i don't claim to have the total truth i don't claim that you know i'm holding total truth i just don't i found so many discrepancies in all of them and it's like, I believe that we have to move around on a planet eclectic. We have to take from many sources in order to survive properly, in order to adapt to certain conditions that we go through. And I listened to the conversations like the brother, uh, uh, the brother uh, Mighty Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? It's some of the things that brother Chris Harris said, even on, even yourself, Sarnetta, you know, and definitely, I listen to my brother, Black Jesus, and the other brother. You know, it's like, considering everything, we still going to die. Mm -hmm. We still going to go back to where we came from. And um, how should we live then? That's what's important. How should we coexist with each other? Like, if it's helping you and it's not killing me, and it's not doing anything detrimental to me, then so be it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, well, if the Quran is right, brother, that's <laughs> it. If the Quran is right, I can't wait to die. Well, 70 yeah, versions, boy. To, there you to, go. We're going to get 100 versions, according, man. According to, <laughs> according to, that's not a Quran Black verse. Though, that. but, Black that's Black a verse, bro. I said the Quran going to give us that's, 100 versions, man. Yeah, that's that's I can't wait that's, to die. That's the Quran is right. Well, we know that nobody <laughs> came. We know, no, we know nobody came back to, to confirm the accusations that is set forth in any of it. Even those of Egypt. I remember years ago we got into our big conversation about that. You before you was telling me that you wasn't following religion by following ancient Egyptology. <laughs> you remember? Now right, it's different right. now. It is religion. Right. No, it's because, not. No, because they not. believed in the hair. You get closed they, out, you, yeah, you closed it, out. It, it Let is, them go. It is, it is, it is, it is. However, you know, listen, man. Don't ask me what my religion is, man. When I need your help, when chats is trying to kill me, you come to my aid. I, <laughs> I want you to help me because that's what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to help you. I ain't going to ask you what you believe in. I'm going to say, yo, this brother need help. And that's how I'm rolling. So, you know, I, you know, consider me. I would like to have continue to have a conversation with my brother, Mighty Hebrew, though, because it's very interesting in some of the points that he raised and whatnot dealing with his creation and Unc, I definitely would like to continue a conversation with you dealing with evolution. That's another heavy topic. That's Al Jaheed, you don't want me. Al that, Jaheed. That, 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 that's, 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 that's very deep, man. Like <sighs> developing Maybe. evidence to support that would be very great. No, that's kind of Muslim thing, though, for the record, right? Muslims accept Yo, evolution. brother, let the man close out, brother. Because I got to go. Al Jaheed. I got to be. I got to go, man. Yeah, Al Jaheed, that's a Muslim. He's oh, you talking about baby, the one, wait, one wait, of the man. black historian Muslim? I know you're talking about that. Wrote the yeah. book. Um, yeah. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo oh, let anything. the man close but anyway, out. But anyway, but anyway, anyway, I got it. I got, I got a lot of the conversation and whatnot, man. I appreciate the input. You know what I'm saying? Um, thought provoking things. I mean, I come up here really to be in the presence of my brother Sarnetta sometime, man. You know, just kicking it. You know, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know. Having the experience to be among others, also, man, really, uh, uh, really Hebrew, mighty Hebrew. I, I definitely appreciate the conversation that you went back and forth with me, brother. I appreciate that, man. And um, you know, we just got to continue to learn from each other. That's all, man. Basically, you know what I'm saying. That's it, man. And uh, I'll end with that.
shout out to my brother, man. You know, like Jesus ministered. Definitely shout out to my brother, Arnetta, man, without a doubt. No doubt. Peace, brother. Indeed. Thank you, man. Indeed, for coming Virgil. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Back. All right, Black Bring Jesus. Back, so. Yes, of course. That's my man right there. I met I'll that brother. I met, I met my brother in the street. So we good. All right. Let me get to um anonymous Hebrew. Let's go. Two minutes, brother. Close us out. Uh, and you're saying sometime next week for you and Chris, I need y'all, I need to get y'all on the phone together so we can come up with the title and the dates. So go ahead, Anonymous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I'll start off first by saying peace to you, Sai. Thank you for having me on. Um, I understand that you broke your rule for letting me on, and I am not. Uh, nah, you good, brother. That fact, but I do appreciate it, right? And so um, I'll, I'll say this. It's so much that happened tonight, so I, I'll try to be as succinct as possible. First off, Shout out to my elder, Elder Yara. That is really my brother. That is my business partner. We are doing so many different things to help people in this world. So I'm so proud to be associated with him. Shout out to the brother, Black Jesus Minister, who is taking his time to talk to me in the background. Like, uh, whatever you think about him in person, public, like in the background, he is uh, an excellent elder in terms of trying to uh, fix a lot of things. Shout out to my big brother. I can't even call him an elder, even though he is an elder in the community, my big brother mighty Hebrew who has taken so much time to just be a big brother to me in real life, right? And, and embarking on a, a revolutionary journey of trying to really bring food to our people. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters, especially the Israelites that have came before me onto this platform. Um, I love y'all. I've learned so much from y'all. I just hope to come here and, and bring a lot more scholarship to those that would be mad because I came to size platform. Y'all, I'm sorry. You need to open your eyes. This is an amazing platform that we can use to uh, further our, uh, our, in, our our education and our uh, ideology and actually be uh, representative in the community. I'll say this, as it pertains to the Exodus, there is a lot of extra biblical information that we can bring to the community and have real scholastic information about. I would pose to you that anyone that goes against this information is either suffering from cognitive dissonance or has not actually done a complete review of all of the information. Um, I love brothers mm -hmm. like Chris, right? I love brothers like Chris. Um, I don't hate him. Me and Chris have had a long battle. Uh, I, I hope that I've encouraged him to take his scholarship further. He may not say that because Chris don't play them games. Like he, you know, he tries to crush everybody, but I would hope that I've uh, encouraged him to further his scholarship. Like he's uh, encouraged me to further mine. Uh, I am definitely interested in having the Israelite conversation. I'm I'm definitely interested in having the conversation about how the Torah can take our people further. Uh, I don't hate anyone's religion, anyone's way of life. I'm taught by my religion not to revile the gods. I'm taught by my conversation not to revile other people's religion, but to hold form to mine. I think the Brother Mighty Hebrew talked about henotheism, and specifically, I would say monolatrism. When you deal with the Bible, you're, you're specifically dealing with monolatrism, which is the worship of one deity, but not the exclusion of understanding that other deities exist. If you study the Bible, yeah. that's what the Bible teaches. It's monolatrism. Right. Um, so I love all y'all. Get yourself together. Let's go ahead and build this wall, not so much against each other, but against our oppressor. Yes, I appreciate you, sir. Y'all be easy. All right. Peace, brother. Hey, hey, what the all right. Come on. Um, you closed out already, brother. Stop, man. All right. No, Hebrew. no, no I just want to hear what the brother said about monotheism. That's all. I just want. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry about that because it's going to bring back a conversation. No, no, it's going to bring back. It's going to bring up a conversation. Okay, I got right, to go, I just man. To look it up. Thank you. No, I got you. I feel you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, mighty Hebrew. Oh man, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, the supreme, intelligent, powerful one, our forefathers of him. He's got me out of cool. The nice conversation was definitely a great conversation, and. What it actually showed me when Aunt West came on, right? And we was going reminiscing back at the Aunt, the brother Aunt and Nikki Love show. This platform, if you wasn't there in the beginning when you had myself, Aunt West, Seti, um, Red Pill, Professor Jack, the late Professor Jack, and many Shout others. Shout out to Nikki Love, man, for real. Nikki Love you won't get the appreciation of what I'm about to say. I'm looking at Ankh's face and then I'm looking at Sarnetta's face. And what I'm seeing is we came a long way. 
we came a long way. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, we really have. You know, I've seen growth and development from being on the show 2007, 2008. We in 2022. And we seen Ankh West got his own bookstore. We in 22? You know, no, 2023, 20, excuse me. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> you caught, you caught up in time, brother. You back there. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll, I'm in I'm in Africa, man. I'm just having the, the best time of my life. But um, like I was saying, like I was um like I was saying, Unc West got his own bookstore. He's writing a book, he's teaching the house of consciousness that went from showing 10 minute clippings to being known internationally. The house of consciousness halt for me to manifest what I was saying into an actual reality. You know, I wanted the world to see that the Hebrews were just as African as the Egyptians, just as African as the Nubians, et cetera, et cetera. Even to the point of repatriating myself and my family back to Africa. And there was never a disdain for Africa from the paradigm that I came from. And um, I just appreciate all the scholars, the younger generation. And I see what now after everything, I see what you're doing, side netter trying to draw me out into these discussions. <laughs> you see right, what I'm saying? All right. You finally and did it, huh? And, and to close this out for Mr. Morpheus, um, that word that you used, I seen in the chat, you said to ask him about Nagas, the um, the Hebrew connection to the Sanskrit word Nagas would be Nakash. That would be the Hebrew word. But that's that's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Saad Nega. And stop drawing me Yo, out. We man. got our Let interview tomorrow. Um, my yes. Navy. Yes, we got a one on one interview, correct? Correct. I will be there. All right. Peace to you, brother. You too. All right. All right. So now we got to go to the uh, MVP, Chris Harris in the building. Chris Harris, let's get it. Um, yeah, you know, um, this is weird. <laughs> I mean, what these brothers are trying to do is take over, take over 400 years, right? They're trying uh -oh. to take 400 years and encompass it and put it in the book of the Exodus. They're trying to take 400 years. They start with Sinemu. They start with hey, the Chris. Israel.